Episode one, man. Welcome to Respect yeah. the Code. Yeah, Respect the Code, man. Long time Epis- in the making, man. Episode one. Yep. It's crazy. It's crazy it took that long. Yeah. It is. You know what? 20 years? Talk about this for 10? Yeah. That's crazy. It really is. Feel it good. Yeah, it does. Feel it real good. I ain't got closed caption on there, okay? All right. You do? Yeah. Let's start off right? Yeah. If you know, you know. Game called Cards Against Humanity. Game Correct. Life lesson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. I'm, I'm question reader this time. Juanita, what up? Hey, sweetheart. I like how it pops up and says it's from Facebook. Yeah. That's cool. So this is our first episode, so a lot of this is a, a filling out process. We're trying yeah. to understand how everything really works. Yeah, a new platform. A new platform. Recording and all that. Yeah. Or live streaming and all that. Oh, shit. Okay. So, game's called Cards Against Humanity. Uh, really wild game. Just discovered, I just discovered it a few, a few months ago. Apparently, it's been around for quite some time. And it's just a, a, a very funny adult. Yeah, adult for real. Yeah, uh, card game. It says seventeen and, and over. But yeah, but no, nah, hell no. Seventeen, you ruin some lives with this. <laughs> Might ruin some adult lives with this month. Cause some bad, very bad decisions. So we're gonna do the first topic of the day with mm. uh, life lessons of cards against humanity. Mm. So. <laughs> <laughs> The question is, Daddy, why is Mommy crying? Because Asians aren't good at math. Oh. <laughs> Episode one, man. Episode one. That's crazy. That's 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 kind of that's a counterintuitive fucking statement, though. Yeah, it is, <laughs> and definitely not true. <laughs> we just we just cover full bore. Yeah. If I, was, I mean, if I was at a math contest, that's probably the first person, person I would, I would yeah. pick. I'm just being honest with you. Unless there's somebody else in there with some high scores. Hey, man. Like we see. Rule number one, keep it real. That's yeah. all we do. Hey. Can't help it to the skills you're blessed with. No. Hell no. Hmm. So what's Damn. been going on this week for you? Nah, man. Nah, shit. Work. Yeah. Work home. Work home. Work home. Yeah. Literally. It's like the story of his life now. Well, some. Some motherfuckers don't want to work. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I don't I don't get it. I don't either. It's it's I don't know. A lot of people still after that fast dollar. Yeah. As well. They are. You know. The easy money. Yeah. But you're going to pay for it at some point, though. Oh. I learned that the hard way. Yeah. I know what you mean. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. People do what they do. Anyway. uh, You know, you just led, you just damn near led right into it. I almost kind of want to go into the news thing. People do what they do. Yeah. We can always save it, though. Well, hold on. It's up to you. No, we go right into it. You want to? Go right into it. So this dude found this article. Well, actually, it's been it's been national news for for a few months now. The uh, the story about the baby found in a suitcase. You know what's bad is, dude. I don't watch. I don't watch. We don't watch news, and I'm from here, and I didn't know nothing about that. Yeah. Not yeah. a thing. I didn't know nothing about it six months ago. Yeah. That's crazy. I mean, you've been following it? Yeah. Somewhat anyway. I haven't been it hasn't been an everyday thing or, you know, something like that. But I don't watch news as much as I used to, but I still feel like 
you have to know what's going on, whether yeah. you like it or not. It's true. You, and the the trick is to be able to rationalize for yourself the what's news and what's just a bunch of hyperbole, a yeah. bunch of, you know, propaganda. That's, that's over like 50% of it now. Yeah. And uh, I mean, a lot of it have gotten good with mixing propaganda and the news together. You know, I don't do more, but motherfuckers have called me crazy, but I used to like, well, when we, uh, this was this was years ago, we used to like sit around and watch like C-SPAN and shit. Yeah. Raw footage. I yeah. Mean, you can't get no different than that. Uh, like I like I've told you once before, ever since nine eleven, I've watched the news faithfully. Yeah, and I just I figured out that you know, there's no better soap opera than political news. Dude, I was talking to I was talking to dude at work about the soap. He said you don't know nobody to watch no soaps. I said I know one motherfucker to watch soaps. I don't watch it. Yeah, I used to watch soaps. <laughs> hey. My best friend called me, man, was like, dude, turn on uh, Y&R, Young and the Restless. <laughs> yeah, I was like, Are you, you shitting me. He was like, yeah, turn it on, man, shit crazy. Yeah. Us young bucks would have been like, what's Y&R? Yeah, like, like <laughs> I, used to watch, I used to watch it back in the day with my mom when I was younger. Uh, I mean, younger, younger, like eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Eleven ish area, somewhere around in there. But I didn't I fell out I wasn't really interested in it. I just used to watch it just because she was watching it, really what didn't understand what was going on. And it wasn't nothing like what it was when uh me and my, my homeboy Ted started watching it. He yeah. People were, were, were being killed off. They was locked in the house and lights was go out and On Young and the Restless? Yeah. Oh, they were, yeah, they were wild. My boy Victor. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, though. See, motherfuckers don't know who that is. Shout out Vic. Mm, yeah. Victor. Victor Newman. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's his name. Well, yeah, go. So, we've done so. We, we, like I said, we keep saying this last time. We'll keep it real. We've done none. We did this twice already. Yeah. We did it first. Okay, we actually, we did it once. We got an hour and a half into it. Audio was all fucked up. Yeah. We had to restart. And then we was trying to mess with... And I, I, I don't want to knock them. We was using one of the online recording platforms where you can keep everything on the cloud. And there's a bunch of them out there. Uh, they got Squadcast, Riverside. Uh, I don't know. There's a couple other ones. And it was cool at first. Yeah. It was. It was cool. And our record... It was okay. You know, it wasn't bad. I still can't get access to it. They kept, you know, saying they was going to fix it, and it still fails every time we export it. So we, this is kind of episode 1.1. 1. 1, but Yeah. Something we did in that first hour and a half we didn't even do in the last one is go over how, how we met. Mm. Go over the traditional story. Okay. Story on the website. Yeah. And, and, you know, I, on that too, hats, hats will be here tomorrow. Snapbacks will be here tomorrow. Okay. Get the hats get going. To, get shout, out, shout out to t-shirts. Respect the code. Yeah, get you a mug, get you a koozie. Yeah. Respectthecode.net. Shop the merch, man. Yeah. Respect it. Yeah, keeps this going. All right. So, uh, 20 years ago. Yeah. Back literally, in the day. Literally 20 years ago. Yeah, literally years 20 years ago. Pretty fucking close. Uh, We was, on, we was on this game called uh, World of Warcraft. If there's which, a motherfucker on this podcast, I don't know who World of War or what World of Warcraft is. Okay, yeah, let me rephrase that. We was playing World of Warcraft, <laughs> uh, and uh, I was in Red Ridge, and this is uh, I had, I probably had been playing it maybe like I don't know maybe six months because another friend of mine EQ had started had turned me on to it. EQ turned me on to it. Yeah, EQ turned oh, me I on didn't to know it. That. I yeah, didn't know that. and. Uh, um, on that server, on Kagar. Really? Yeah. And uh, uh, I had played it for like a week, and then, like, I think I was on the little, the little demo, if there was a demo then, I'm not quite sure. But I had played it for like a week and then just put it down. Right. And then um, uh, I started seeing advertisements for Burning Crusade coming out. Uh, so he was, coming right, out. He was right at the end of Vanilla. Yeah. So I, I jumped back in it. 
So Burning Crusade is out, and I'm, I'm questing. I'm in Red Ridge, and look, little dude, little little dude just walks up out of nowhere, you know, and was like, uh, can, I I need, get a, "Can I get a hundred gold?" No, it was fifty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sure I had a hundred gold when we had this. Yeah. Hand. Because gold was really, really hard to come by. It ain't like it is now. See, and if you know, you know now. Yeah. Because we was just playing, just picked it back up for the new expansion. We ain't played in a while. Right. And now motherfuckers are selling shit for two, three hundred thousand gold. So back then, yeah, it, fifty gold was, fifty gold was real then. Yeah. I mean, you're killing stuff and it's giving you three. You're selling shit and it's three copper. Three copper. <laughs> five now, copper. Now you kill shit and it's three gold. Right. Yeah. Anyway, so you don't know, you don't, you don't, so I asked you for fifty gold. Y'all don't understand the struggle. Hell no. It, yeah, it, I just gave it to him. I didn't even think about it. I just gave it to him. Humble. And ever since then we've been friends. That's crazy. Twenty years ago. Yep. That's crazy. See what fifty gold buy you. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Hopefully it's as good as it. Hopefully it's as good as it used to be. Mm. You know, because we still gamers. Yeah, it ain't no secret. Yeah, I play something every day. Yeah, whether it's on my phone or actually sitting down at the computer. Yeah. I don't really use my console anymore because I'm an Xbox man. So I mean, the same thing I get on Xbox, I get on PC for the most part. You remember the? Uh, I was going to say the platform, but you remember the, the days back in the day, sitting in a group watching the videos, oh. watching them, watching the movies. Yeah, Netflix. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so uh, <laughs> I'm still pissed about that because that was some of the some of the 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 most fun I've ever had. What was the number one rule? If 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 something ain't killed or fucked, and within the first fifteen minutes we skip past it. Yeah, done. Pass. And uh, shout out to my homie Mike D. Ashes. Uh, equalizer. Uh, you still talk to him, yeah. Mike D and Ashes? No, I haven't talked to Mike D in years. You know what I'm saying? I know he's still alive, and that's all that really matters to me. Last time I talked to, him, yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? Last time I talked to him, I see because I hadn't really played Call of Duty since like Modern Warfare Two. I played something. I don't remember which one it was. We was playing one of them, and that dude happened to be in. But that, yeah, that was years ago. Yeah, I couldn't even tell you when. Yeah, shout out to my boy Black, my boy P Boy Will, uh, dang, it's just so many. Some of us is not here. Oh, uh, uh, Clayco, Georgia Power, my boy Tim, yeah, this. Uh, but anyway, back then, uh, we're talking like regular Xbox and 360 for that matter. When Netflix first came out, you could be. You could. It was a. It was already an app on the. It quickly became an app on the console. Uh, and you could. It was 360. Yeah, it you was. Could, there, um, yeah. You could have like up to eight people in the in the room with you, and you could wa- whatever whoever's room it is, they could just stream whatever was on Netflix, and everybody could just watch it. It wasn't though everybody else had to pay or oh, bullshit, be man. subscribed to it or any of that. You could just go in there, and I mean, we watched everything. Literally the whole catalog of Netflix at the time. You know what I'm saying? Back then. Yeah. All the stuff that we would, all the stuff that we even had an inkling that we'd be into and we would watch it. And like, uh, yeah. There was some crazy stuff on it back then. I mean, there's still a lot of, there's a lot of good stuff on Netflix still, but you know. Oh, speaking of Netflix, how, how caught up are you on The Witcher? Um, you you might be farther than me. I watched the first season. I watched anything after that. I've watched all released episodes unless they came out with a new one. So I knew episode two was coming out. I did. Has they got episode three out? Or my season episode three. season three out yet? I haven't. I haven't. I haven't been on there in a while because I've been uh, on HBO Max and uh, Paramount for the last few months. Season four. Uh, Liam Helmsworth. Liam Helmsworth is taking over as a. Uh, are on the show. Hmm. As what, the writer? Mm-hmm. No. Ah, oh, damn it. What's his name? Uh, people call me in the comments. I don't remember, I don't remember his name. I'm all of a sudden spacing it. Yeah, put it in the comments because we'll, we'll, we'll yeah, go yeah, back and remember. read this. Yeah, I can't remember. We'll I know go. his name, but I, anyways. 
Uh, yeah, he's taking over as the main character. Mm. As the as the voice for the main character. No, actor and everything. Liam Hemsworth. So Thor. It, so it won't be. Uh, so they're not going to have. Uh, yeah, so I'm sitting here thinking. I'm like, don't um, say it. Don't say. It. I know his name. He's an actually an avid gamer. Um. It's going to bug me. It's going to no, bug I me. Mean, no, I'm, I mean, uh, I can't think of his name right now because it's been a minute since I watched it, uh, watched The Witcher. I thought about downloading Witcher 3 again and trying to play it because I haven't really made it that far in the game. Um, so is he going to play the? Is he gonna play as the main character, mm-hmm. take over the... Um, the whole row, yeah, everything. Uh, okay, okay. And all the thing, all, all, all she said was, uh, it said the card has been played. Whatever the fuck that's supposed to mean. Oh, because there's a game, there's a card game in The Witcher that's like a. Uh, see, it's I a got, gambling I got, game. See, I gotta watch it more. I watched, I watched season one all the way through. I might have to end up watching season one all I the mean, way through again. So, have you really ever played The Witcher though? I played the first one for like, not much. Did you make it to the point where you played the where where they showed Probably you not. how to play the card game? Probably a little not. gambling game. No, if they did, I'm in. Yeah, that's 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 the card. That's the card they're talking about. That's it's a card game. Dude, it's gonna bug me now. The whole show. Yeah, there you go, Henry, Henry Cavill. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go, or okay. Cavill. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's gone. He, you know, he's Henry's actually the avid gamer. He posted his like PC build and stuff. I I never knew that. Not that I like follow him or anything. I just seen a a video of him one time. He had this awesome PC build and he games every day and stuff. In the mid, like he be said, he was like with Superman and stuff and he he be gaming I'm gonna say I'm gonna say honestly probably about 80% of 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 the population of Earth in general plays some sort of game at least once a day they do <laughs> whether it's your little phone game all the way to, to hardcore streaming yeah you know plus like uh, they got all these like the graphic novel aspect of gaming is starting to really take off you know, right now it's still a bunch of. Uh, most of it is a bunch Chunks. of nudity, nudity, and and sex stories and stuff like that. What the hell are you talking about? Just, just I'm the graphic. Sure I, I'm not sure I feel. The graphic, to all this. the graphic novel aspect of gaming. I mean, because, you know, I mean between That's the true. between the two of us, just our Steam accounts is probably, you know, oh, sh- thirty five thousand dollars worth of games. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's the, I, yeah, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Man, you have to say that much. I'm just being honest. I know yeah, mine's is a yeah. good, you know. I know it's honest, but damn, man, Ashley's in the chat. Shit. Well, hey. Could have at least. She watched you buy all that. She could have at least said like 3500 or something. <laughs> mm. God damn. Yeah, there's, 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 I don't even know how many hundreds of games are in there probably now. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm pushing up on 900. I don't know what I'm actually pushing, to be honest with you. So some of a good, uh, not the majority. I'm gonna say about maybe fifteen percent of those, fifteen, yeah, about fifteen to twenty percent of those are games that I got from places like Humble Bundle or, or, um, what's the what's, what's the word? Green Man, remember them? Uh, Green Man Gaming. Yeah, I ain't messed with them in a while. Yeah. Green Man Gaming used to give you a random game for, for a dollar, <laughs> <laughs> and it could be anything. And Didn't I they did used that to do a dollar? Yeah. I don't remember that. Yeah, it was just one game for a dollar random. Wow. They did a whole bunch of little things like that though. Shout out Green Man if you still if do they still exist? I don't know. I ain't checked them out in a while. Yeah. Like a long while. I'm gonna check I'm gonna check them out too. But yeah. That's how we meant video games. You know. Some of some had some really good good have some really good good friends that are still we still close today from 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 that whole World of Warcraft experience. Yeah, a lot of people knock games like that. You know, even your 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 um, a lot of games are are Japanese Chinese oriented, but they're they're MMOs. That's what it's called, multi massive yeah. multiplayer online game. Yeah, but you know, and they knock it. Thinking that it's just only kids, but I mean, I was on there with judges, lawyers, doctors. Oh yeah, you know, all the time. You know, doctors with ten, uh, uh, not doctors, but uh, in- instructors with tenure at their prospective colleges. Um, you know, 
to down to your average fast food worker, you know, even some people who are retired po retired sheriffs, deputies. Yeah. You know, retired military. Damn, I yeah, you just said you just talking about sheriff I we gotta start going back in the lobby. Yeah. 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 If you know, you know. Yeah. If you one of the warlords, you know, we got we gotta start because every once in a while I'm, he's probably done the same thing with you. He'll reach out, you know, and say what yeah. you know, where you guys been. Yeah, I talked I've, I've talked to him. I talked to him probably about a week or so ago. Just to see how he was doing it. So yeah. that's what we do, you know. Yeah. I mean the, that dude's a retired sheriff, de, sheriff's deputy, and as a, 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 a as a friend, like a real true friend, he kept he kept it real with me on on the thinking of of law enforcement when it comes yeah. to my community. Yeah, you know, and I mean, I sort of kind of get it. You know, it's fucked up, really, really, it's fucked up. But I mean. If you're going into a place where a whole bunch of stuff, bullshit, is always happening, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? As someone to be, as someone who has to be on guard against it, you have to be, you you have to go in with that mindset. Yeah. You know, I argued with this man. You know, you know, a drunk man never tells no lie. He was buttered. He was buttered. You know, but I mean, I get it. You know, if you know, like my street. Like like the last street I was living on in Louisville, uh, 15th and Dumanil, you know, we gunshots every day. That's crazy. You know? See, I... Uh, uh, you know, four girls. No, five girls. Is this the dead end? The, no. no. No, it's not dead end. See, right I there across the... Right there where, where you came and got me at. Oh, right there? Yeah. That's 15th and, that's 15th and Dumanil. Oh, yeah. yeah. You said the last spot. So, yeah, the last spot. Gunshots right there? Oh, it was a time. You, yeah, you could have told me when I came and picked you up. I mean, you strapped. Damn, <laughs> you strapped it. Though. It didn't matter. I, I left a motherfucker in the Duramax, though. I didn't. Oh, god damn. I mean, the the crazy crackhead lady <laughs> should have should have told you something. <laughs> I can't believe she come all the way up to the door. She do that all the time. I never seen her before, but we get something like that all the time. Yeah. Oh, you hadn't seen that lady that was there that day? Mm -mm -mm. Oh wow! I had never seen her before. Never seen her before a day in my life. Found about she's a police officer, <laughs> and she needed I'd use one of our phones to uh, to call the precinct. I said, "Dude, don't you give her a phone? You'll never get that bitch back. You'll turn around that motherfucker, her and your phone will be gone. You'll be calling in some dude answer your phone. How about so? What's up? <laughs> how many? I'm how many a, you need? <laughs> I'm from a back country too, so I try. I start pulling my phone out my pocket. So what are you doing? Uh, she needs a phone. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, don't don't give her your phone, bro, because you will not get it back. I think no. she would have took off running. As soon as, as soon as there's an opportunity, or as soon as you turn your head, she's out of there. Fuck that bitch. And I don't, I don't, I don't know about where you're from, but crackheads where I'm from, they can run pretty damn fast. They're pretty damn fit, especially when they're chasing a the bump. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. But that's just, I mean, that's just her life. You, go, you still talk to him at that place? Uh, I'm, yeah, I talked to, talk to him. Uh, well, you know. Um, okay. So I make, I've i made music for years. Like, shit. Since yeah, a I long was, time. For, for well over 30 years, you know. And I've done it for myself. I've done commercials and Damn, you made not. music as long as I've been born. Yeah. Easily. That's crazy. Easily. That's crazy. You know, but I've never really, you know, chased it as a dream. You know, it's most mostly been a hobby for me. Like uh, the intro to this is something that I made last yeah. night. Yeah. You know, just just do something together real quick as the intro. What did you think about that anyway? It was good. It was good. I yeah. feel like I need to add more. I need to uh, to add more effects we, to it. We can always change it. And change. Yeah. Oh, it's definitely going to change. Because I'm never really satisfied with the first project or the second or the third. Yeah. Or anyone. I tried to get that intro to play in here to start it with the stream, but yeah. I, I just can't get it to work right. Yeah. I mean, eventually we're going to do like like what you said and just have music playing in the background at some point. You want to? Yeah. You know, and you know. Chill fi or something. Uh, a yeah. Beach. Yeah. Something. That's the thing about that's the thing about doing music for so long, especially for yourself. You can make any kind of thing, any kind of music. Yeah. So if I really wanted to, I could make a rock track. Yeah. I could make a country track. 
I could even probably make a cast classical track if I really wanted to. I have before. It just took me a long ass time. But I yeah, but it. it's all about making what you want to listen to, also. Which I guess I listen to all that shit, but what well, still? Well, okay, so um, I mean, it's a little side note, but um, um, I was watching something. I can't remember what it was, but they stated that uh, classical composers of the day really? listen to a lot of trap music. You did. They they listen to a lot of trap music just because the the uh, the change ups the 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 amount of effort that goes into a trap beat you know the shit's simple to us but I mean it's it's a lot of there's a lot of a lot of composure that goes into making a trap um, not so much as a trap beat because you can make a loop anybody can make yeah. a loop but I yeah. mean uh, putting together a actual good yeah so with Something the change worthy. up the bridges and whatnot. Yeah, they 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 enjoy listening to trap music just because of the intricacies of of what it takes what what it is when you make trap beats. Wow. You know, I'm I don't exclusively limit myself to to anything. You know, if I if I had to call, label myself anything, I would say a sampler. Cause shout out, shout out to Mark Livers, that, that's the guy who taught me how to make beats, and that's how I started. Do a little make a sample. Uh, uh, actually, he's in uh, New Albany now, but yeah, I met him in Louisville in the projects. Hmm. You know, him, him, and his brother. You know, actually, I think I met his brother first. I think I met Eric first. You know, and we used to go over his house over off of Forty Third and Broadway in in Louisville, and uh, uh, and then when Mark came came down from New Jersey because they both from New Jersey. Um, me and Mark just like click, click, you know, and we was putting out, you know, hood bangers, like for real. And, uh, um, we need to get B20 in this. Who's that? What do you mean? We need to get B20 in this somehow. Play that again. Oh, B20. Oh, yeah. oh, that's just, uh, you can search that on YouTube. That's just, uh, a, 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 it's on, it's a on beat SoundCloud that I have too. made. Is it on SoundCloud? Yeah, you got, SoundCloud? On, you got it on SoundCloud. Oh, uh, I don't remember. It's been so long. But it's just one of the beats that I made on a... Uh, yeah, go to SoundCloud or YouTube, B20. YouTube. Yeah, B20. What you, what, what's it under on YouTube, though? B20? No, I mean, what what's the what channel do you got it under on YouTube? No, I just said my regular name. Oh, okay. That's crazy. B20 under, uh, I want to say James Caesar. Which is the producer name I was going by. I'm one of those people I I don't know what I want to be called as a producer. So I change names every Are there a bunch of people that just go by their regular name? No, not really. That's what I was I mean say. there's 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 I, mean, a, I can't think there's of one a, there's a few, but no, not really. You know, just like being the M C there everybody has an alias. Right. And I've never really found one that, you know, that's, that I've liked that's really stuck. Of course, I can put out, I can say, oh, this is my name, and then just put out everything from under that name, and then it'll, it'll, okay, that'll be what I'm known as, but I don't know. I just never really liked any of the things that, I mean, I've liked them, but they just never really, like, after a few years, I outgrow them. That's crazy. You gonna fuck with the beast down here? Yeah. 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 I'll come. I'm, um, oh, so um, not only are we podcasts, but we're also gamers, as 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 you've heard before, and yeah. we'll be streaming live. Or uh, we making... need to, we need to start doing that throughout the week. Yeah. Because we don't play as much, but we still play multiple days throughout the week, and yeah. we play so much and don't stream nothing. Yeah, and we'll be, we'll we'll be like I said, streaming live. We'll be. Do playing, doing just gameplay. Yeah. At some point, we'll start getting into walkthroughs when we. Uh, and it very well just might be just gameplay at the very beginning. Yeah. No talking, just literally playing. If you want to listen, you can. If not, you don't have to. But yeah. At some point, I want to get into new game reviews. Yeah. Stuff like that. You know. I'll, um, uh, that's that's a good of, time to say. So that type of stuff. <clears throat> a lot of this stuff. I would say that type of stuff. A lot of the stuff's gonna be on Patreon. Yeah. 
you know that we're going to post a lot of it we're going to i would say within the last 10 years we always said we want to do a podcast one of the things we really want to do is do reactions oh yeah and to bars also what the shittiest mumble rappers of the of the age are bruh yeah, I heard. I think I probably heard one of the worst mumble rap songs about four days ago at work. It's crazy, like literally. And you know, I'm and I, people say this all the time. I can't understand what he's saying. I understand a lot of rap. I, li- I listen to people like Tech Nine and stuff. So, you know, I understand a lot of Faz. Uh, uh, my boy, uh, one of the fastest rappers alive or ever. Uh, um, oh, you better remember it now. Uh, totally insane. Mm. Um, and I've listened to to I listen to a lot of overseas w- in languages I don't understand, but yeah. you know I can still make it out. You know, Something. some words. Yeah, and, you know I can. But this dude, whatever he was listening to, it was so bad I didn't even ask who he was listening to. That's how bad it was. Because I mean, because they got this little trend now where. Um, where the thing goes is, uh, 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 speak up. Uh, 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 uh. No, it was worse than that. Wow, they it, doing that. They doing like that it. in the song. Yeah. Oh my god. They, but I, so well, they not even bullshitting now. They yeah. just yeah. They don't even give up. They just know. Mm. Mm. That's crazy. Yeah. We are doing. I'm only. I'm about to start rapping. I mean, look. Okay, so. I'm glad you said that because that's a point that I really want to emphasize and I'm going to be emphasizing from here until the day I die. A person could work at a factory for 35 years. All right. Him and some coworkers who've been working there, who've of the same age in their 50s and 60s or whatever can say one day, hey, let's start a band. You play drums, I play guitar, and, and this person right here can sing lead and start a band in their 50s and, and go platinum. Yeah, you could do that in every genre except That's for hip hop. That's actually happened a lot, yeah. In, in every genre except for hip hop, and it's just not right. You know, the industry itself wants wants to keep every wants to paint the picture where everything in hip hop has to be about young people, right? You know what I'm saying? That's true, though. And you know, I mean, real hip hop was never really a, just about the the bougie aspect of it. It was about knowledge you know some for in some form of fashion that's why today you know you can hear a million songs about how to <laughs> <laughs> how to what <laughs> how, to, how, to, how to how to how to how to mistreat a female how to mm. how, how to get your money you know what i'm saying the the grimy way you know what i'm saying what you'll do to somebody you know, or or what kind of car you could drive, you know. And uh, anybody with any positive message or any kind of guidance in their in their music, you, you don't hear that on the radio. It's all about trying to fuck, all about trying to get some money, all about who I'm gonna kill. They disrespect me, or I just don't like that person. That person being an op, or 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 you know what I'm saying, just general bullshit. You know it's crazy. We're almost a, I I think we're in a day and age of we have more better independent rappers than we do more mainstream rappers. Oh yeah, but it's always been like that, for real. Oh, well, not not forever. Um, I'm gonna say since it, since since the mid 2000s, mm. I'm gonna say it's been that way. Yeah, because a lot of the, I don't, I don't I don't know if I honestly fuck with a lot of mainstream rappers now. And I you know I listen to rap but it's not my it's not my number one. But when I listen to it all the all the new shit I listen. There's a lot of new stuff that's okay. There's a lot of new stuff. I will say there's a lot of new stuff that's good too, but primarily everything I listen to like what the fuck? Who the hell is this? Yeah. You know. And I mean, I understand. And then you got people out here like Dax that's straight up Probably never going to hit the radio. No, I feel like he will at some point, but it's go. It's not going to be for one of the songs that he should be known for. No, nah, he's going to have to. Yep. You know, there's a thing called going commercial, and you know, it's it's going to have to be. 
I mean, the way things are structured. That's the reason why I love these streaming platforms and stuff like that. And the fact that there's a lot of uh, people like us doing podcasts and uh, uh, making reaction videos on YouTube and whatnot. And to, to, to bring these people to the forefront. There's a few there's a few people that I wouldn't have never known about if it wasn't for like uh a guy by the name of Crip that makes know, reaction yeah, videos. Yeah. Um and reaction and raps though. The the Crip's lost good. the lost twins and a few other the last I don't know the lost twins. Lost twins. Oh the law twins. Yeah. I got you. I got you. Law twins. My bad. I said lost my bad. Yeah. Uh, I haven't watched the law twins in a long yeah, time me neither. though. Me neither. I used to watch them a lot and then I they just fell off. My notification is so convoluted with a bunch of other oh, stuff man. that I don't. Have you read this yet? I, that's what caught my attention. So this is gonna be the next topic. But tell me, you, know, <laughs> you remember the plus? Yeah. Oh, so um, oh, you just go. You just gonna go right in then? Yeah. Keep. I yeah. mean, so rule number. So I just, you know, respect the code. We got a code. We actually have a code. Yeah. 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 Code number one. Keep it real. Keep it real at all times. So we're not going to sugarcoat anything that nah. we we, we ask for or say nope. or anything like that. You don't like you know. it? Hit the X. Yeah. You don't or, have to watch or swipe or scroll whichever one. Yep. Which one? Yep. Is feasible you see it on TikTok? You. you see it? Whatever. Scroll up. You ain't got to watch. Okay. So actually, I have talked to somebody about this though, but we was wondering. And this is what we was doing in our first legitimately uh, wondering in our first video. We was wondering what the plus means. In, yeah, yeah, LGBTQ plus. Yeah, what's the plus mean? You know, and uh, somebody told me that it was just it's supposed to just ever, ever, uh, include everything else that's not. I mean, in, yeah, I know who you're talking about now. In in the it not categorized everything by the first forever. five letters. Yeah, but you know, okay, that's still that's still. That leads to what is what is the plus though? We want to know exactly what the plus is, yeah. not just not that it just means everything. What is everything? You know, because we was because one uh, one letter I heard was B, was supposed to be binary, or N B, which is non-binary. That's two letters. Make them special. Uh, Isn't the B supposed to be bisexual? Oh uh, yeah. So how does it even do. matter? Yeah. So a bi- so what what let us binary fall under that? What does that even mean? Did yeah. you ever watch They or Them yet? Mm-mm. Or I'm sorry, is I think it's They and Them. Ah, that show on Peacock. You didn't watch it yet? Mm-mm. That's a that's a good show. I'm gonna check it out. What's it about? It's a it's a camp that that parents send their kids to. It's a it's a gay conversion camp. Conversion camp. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And they get all the way to the end. The only scene I'll tell you about is you get all the way to the end. I'm sorry, all the way to the you the, There's an intro, mm-hmm. and they come in. Kevin Bacon is supposed to be like the camp leader or whatever you mm-hmm. call him. And he does a spiel, and they get all the way in. He's like, I don't care what you were born as. I don't care what you specify as. Whatever God said you are. I don't even know if he said God, but you know whatever you were born as. Mm-hmm. You boys go over here, girls go over here, mm-hmm. and they get all the way in. There's one person that's standing there, and he said, "Well, I'm non-binary. Where do I go?" Mm. And at, I mean, for the like next five seconds, I'm like, "What the? What? what the, clear as day. What were you born as? You a boy or a girl?" Well, you can be born as both, though. You can have both of them. You know, back in the day, we called them hermaphrodites. I'm pretty sure there's a much. Uh, <laughs> A much uh, uh, PC name Sh- for shout it out now. Shout out your girl. Wasn't, Le- wasn't Lady Gaga? They were saying she was a hermaphrodite for a while. Oh man, they said a lot about her, but <laughs> that's not true. That's I don't the, think it was. That's either. the thing about the media. Yeah, bullshit. And and, and people say the thing about that. The thing about that whole thing, and I could understand why a lot of people don't pay attention to the news or any of that, is because of people will say them or anything to get people to to read their stories or listen to their 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 uh programming or even watch their podcast or whatever and uh uh i understand i understand why a large amount of people don't pay attention to the news because i mean it's just bullshit like we were saying earlier, man, I, I, I would say we watch the news and pay attention to, and I would say, when I say news, I mean all things all the way down to, like, 
who am I going to elect to be on the town board? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, t- town boards include, like, on the school board. Right. I didn't start watching the news till I had kids. And we, so we, even saying that, though, we don't watch national news. But, okay, so, but even saying, but just somebody trying to get elected to the school board. When you watch uh, whatever programming that was, was it just straight? This person is 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 running for school board. This isn't what they stand for, or there, was it somebody's opinion along with it? Um, I just, I don't know if I've ever heard anything about anything that doesn't has, isn't opinionated nowadays. Yeah, and see that's the reason why people don't watch because you yeah. can't you you can't. There's no news. As someone who's who would like to call himself a connoisseur of news and and, and all his spinoffs like the Daily Show and whatnot, and watch all this stuff it's faithfully. Called the Daily Show a spinoff? I mean, because it's not news. It's not news. This is <laughs> you, about, you busting just heads out here in the chat. <laughs> I mean, I mean they they cover news stories, but it's not. Generally, something by the time uh, by the time it makes it to the Daily Show, you've already, if you watch the news, you've already heard yeah. about it. So you know that's, that, that's their opinion on it. You get what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I love the shit out of Trevor Noah. I love the shit out of uh, uh, Stewart before you like Trevor. You like Ben? Ben who? It's ben is Ben Shapiro, right? I mean, again, that's just like uh, that's like old girl. Um, it is Shapiro, though, right? Yeah, that's his name. Yeah, ben. I thought it was. Uh, People could be in the chat. Yeah, it's Ben Shapiro. I don't watch the news, man. Okay, so no, I mean, no, I don't. I don't. Uh, I will give you this. Some uh, uh, most of the talking points that I've when I've actually paid attention to him, you know, I, I can I can understand. Some of them I even agree with, but the problem is, is that there's always a, an agenda with him. Again, it's a, it's, it's, it's a, it's his opinion, right? You know, and I mean, no matter what, this world is not just black and white. This world, this world has way more than Fifty Shades of Grey. You ever watch them? No. You haven't watched them? I haven't watched that. I don't. Watch, I didn't watch the Twilight series or right, none of that. I'm just not into that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Either I'm gonna watch porn <laughs> 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 or, or not. You know, home and watch a vampire killing flick. So we, so he's over here watching it, and uh, you know, wifey at the house. We're over here watching it, and we're going through some shit. And I look over, she's like, "Nah," and then we're watching some shit. And some shit'll go on. I look, "Nah, <laughs> nah." <laughs> hey, she probably she. I, I don't even know what the fuck she's talking about now. I remember a couple. What the fuck is her name? Anna or some shit. No. Damn, what the like Kristen Gray or I don't I don't remember. But I think the chick's name was anyways, we'd be watching, yeah. She would Yeah. Anal scene and shit would come in. No, they got Oh hell scene. no. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out hey, you ain't seen Fifty Shades of Grey? No. I I don't my know wife, if I watched all three of them. My wife was like uh when um now I'm going to have to fucking watch all three. But. My wife was like, uh, when she, uh, she was telling me about, because, you know, Ashley had left uh, a couple of her books over there. Mm-hmm. And uh, she was telling me that, like, uh, when, she was, when she used to read them, yeah, they they get pretty, the the oh, book version. Rough. Yeah. I don't know about the book version, <clears throat> but. but uh, let's put it this way. I heard that shit will start a fire if you let it. <laughs> bro. Yeah. We'll be all right. Yeah. That shit's so funny. I, just I don't know. I, I just mean, keep looking at her. She's like, "Nah, we ain't doing that." I mean, look, I probably, I know, I need to broaden my horizon uh, when it comes to stuff like that. Um, I'm not your 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 typical what you would think somebody would watch. Knowing knowing my background, I like to watch a lot of. I'm yeah, all like, over the like, place. Like hung horses and shit, are you? No, <laughs> no, no bestiality. That's that's just nasty, bro. That you, shit is nasty. How do you do that? Is that is that in the plus? That's yeah, that's true though. Is that in the I mean you ain't in the you ain't into the opposite. I mean you ain't Oh yeah. Well, yeah, see now I'm out here busting heads. Are you are you 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 gay out here sucking a horse cock? I would say yes. <laughs> <laughs> I would say yes. A dick is a dick no matter 
<laughs> no matter where it came from. It's, is it like ice cream? You got to, you know, try it once. <laughs> That's like, uh, <laughs> that reminds it's me of It's all that a comedy. No. Fuck, fuck that. There's, <laughs> there's a lot of versions of ice cream I've never tasted before and probably never will. <laughs> That's fucked up. Would you do this if you were a billionaire? Well, you can read the question. No, but would you do it, though? When I'm a billionaire... I'll tell, I'll tell you, I would not. Would you do that? I mean, if I was part of that game, then I probably would. But being not part of it, no, I wouldn't even think twice about it. So it, so I pulled a wild card, dropped two more cards. Shout out cards against humanity if you weren't here at the beginning. Life lessons. And it's crazy, though. It is crazy because this is it's random. It's like it's uh, random as shit. Like but people will say this is a real topic. It's like fifteen hundred cards in there of answers, and probably be like two, three hundred questions. Yeah. When I when I am a billionaire, I shall erect a fifty foot statue to commemorate the and homosexual the, agenda. The answer was the homosexual agenda. I wouldn't do it. But see, if I was a billionaire, I wouldn't I wouldn't erect a statue of nothing. Yeah. Nothing. I mean. I'm a not one thing. I'm a erect no point in it. <laughs> I'm a, a what? I'm a erect a statue. <laughs> um, that means something to me. So if why, it, did, if why it, did you have to put a pun in there though? Erect. I know what you meant. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> once you go, you don't go. <laughs> I mean, we're in that field, and the alcohol started to kick in. So. Yeah, move on, on. Yeah. moving on. Yeah, but anyway, I would. I mean. For me, just just on that particular topic right there, I wouldn't because I'm not part of that community. But I can see I can see people doing it as long as it's not you know vulgar. There's a there's a, a million things I watch now. Like so, I, well, I've been in this this trend of I hate to say it's famous people, but so I watch a lot of Kevin Hart, The Rock, Shaq, uh, Elon Musk. Uh, Elon Musk is that dude crazy? Because, I mean, because I would reason, say the reason why I ask that is because most geniuses are classified as crazy. OK, or I would eccentric agree with that. at best. I would agree. All right. So I'm biased in a sense to where if there was one person I could look up to in the world, it's Elon Musk. That dude against all odds with Asperger's is richest man in the world. Uh, depending on what list you were look at, yeah, yeah, United yeah. States for damn sure. Depending if, on if you're not gonna that, yeah. include, you know, foreign oil and all that shit, yeah. and, and and the Saudis, yeah, and all that uh, Russian money that you know Vladimir, Vladimir Putin's worth like five million dollars. That's a that's a yeah, bullshit. Come on, man. That's a yeah. bullshit. Hey, yeah. Vlad, we know. Yeah, we you know. know but we know. You ain't you worth more than five million dollars. You know Your cask is gonna be worth more than that. <laughs> No, but I, so I look up to it. So, but he's everything I've done in life, and and I well, I've said it a couple times already. If you know, you know. But literally, and the people that are in here are probably not in here watching this, just knowing them. But there are so many people that said, when I do something, I go all in. I spend too much time on it. I yeah, I, I do too much with it you, instead you, of trying you, it out. You can't. You kind of have to. You know, especially if you want to master whatever it is that you're in. Dude, you know if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. I'm not going to do it 50%. I'm not going to do it 99%. If yeah. I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it 100%. It's, it's like music production for me. I've, uh, the only music classes I've ever had were in high school and middle school or whatever. And I played a trump, not a trombone, but a, 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 um. What's the second horn smaller than a uh, than a tuba? It's been so long. I Dude, forgot. I... All right, so for a quick thirty minute, horn? thirty thirty second story. Not Bef French horn. Before Sorry. I got before I got my master's in business, I fucking hated school, man. Hated mm. it. When I, I I mean I dropped out of high school. Yeah, made I it too. made it to tenth grade. Never fucking graduated. So you ask him, motherfucker, never. I mean, I didn't even get a shit about grades, let alone bands. So I have no idea. Mm. I mean, I f and I, I'm the same way, and I'm like, look, for all those uh, who 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 have who people who thought who think that you know, oh, 
going to get your GED or something like that is something you can't accomplish at a later age. No, it. My my GED is not even six seven years old, you know, and I uh, I got uh, mine too. Uh, Mine's a little older than that, but yeah, I know. No, yes, I know. <laughs> it's just a lot older than that. Um, but well, you know, you a, you a lot older than me though. Yeah, that's true. Shit, I'm fucking. You 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 already on the other side of the hump. I'm still twenty years from the hump. I'm at the top of the hump on my <laughs> way down. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. I'm at I'm at his pinnacle right now. Um but no, um um when I when I decided that I was gonna gonna get my education educational background together, get my GED, go to college that you know, get me a get me a skill. I was gonna go into nursing or whatever. I did yeah. that. Um the biggest fear that I had was that I wasn't not gonna be able to do the work. Or whatever, I'm not done by no means no, at mean. all. So you know, when I went to school, you know, okay. So my kids, my kids would bring home shit that I didn't even understand. All that, what's it called? Calculus and shit. No, no, no. Trigonometry. What? No, I, I kind of, I grasped all that. I'm talking about the the, the new learning styles, the teaching styles that they, uh, they came up with. Um, What's it called? Uh, like Common Core. Common Core, yeah. 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 I didn't it's understand. like the box shit. Yeah, I didn't understand any yeah. of that. I hope we don't do that. I, any of that. Lexi hasn't brought anything home like that yet in first grade, so. But, uh, well, I mean, but just in general, all the, the, new, the new teaching methods are a lot different than what we did when we were in school. You different know? or wrong? I'm going to say different. Because a lot of it's not wrong. It's just a it's just a more you round fuck with, about. You fuck with Common Core? No, I ain't talking about that. I'm talking okay. about I'm talking about just the stuff that, that they be I doing some weird fucking additions. They might get to the end, but I'm looking at it. A like, lot of that Common Core shit didn't make fuck, no sense man. at all to me, though. You just know, what do saying? fucking long math. You yeah. get there in ten seconds instead of three hours. Yeah, and and that's the thing that you need to understand. If you could, if 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 whatever's if you, easier for the person at the end of the day. Yes. And just because the your teacher instructor is teaching you in the more modern way of of getting from point A to point B, right. that old way that you learned back in the day still works. Yeah, you know what I'm saying because what, at the end of the day, two plus two equals four. Yeah. No matter how you yep. get to it, it's yep. still four. That's yep. a fact. Yep. And once I got past that, yeah, you know, high score in my 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 writing class, you know. A pretty decent score in my uh, my English literature class, you know. And whereas I thought I was, I thought I was going to struggle in all of that, and I didn't. Wow, Did, didn't at all, you know, to the point to where my instructor was having me help out other students with with their work. And need, you know, I'm literally the oldest person in this class. This is the GD classes. No, this is when I went to college. I went to college. Yeah, I did that in the GD classes, but I didn't do that in college. It, it, well, it, yeah, my GD class is, you know, um, my GD class, the, okay, so I hadn't did anything even close to school since the last time I went to high school until the time I decided I wanted to go get my GD thing, my GD. Were they like? 25 or 30 years easy in, in between that. Were they like rubber or were they like wood lay? I wouldn't even be wood lay, like people like whittling wood wheels back then or you <laughs> <laughs> you mean the the uh, uh, they like grind, you call it grind, the, grinding you... swords on fucking stones? Or... No, no, no. We did have the the the, the little thing with the with the round uh, beads that you used to count with. We did have those. Oh I forgot. I can't remember what it's called right now. But we did have those. That's crap. No, for <laughs> real. We did. We did have those. We did have those. You know. It's more of a toy more than oh anything. My God. But you know what I'm saying? We still had them. We were taught how to use them for whatever reason. But we, we were taught how to use it. You know, what's it called? Uh, the Alpha. Uh, I can't remember. But anyway. You're talking about like the shit that used like. Well, you count. Yeah. Like in like, like the it, Roman it, days and the Greek days. The. Dude, the only the thing I could correlate with that is like I'd be in the fucking doctor's office and you'd be fucking moving the shit around. Oh no, <laughs> no, that 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 <laughs> is a kid's toy, but it's used to it's it's used to count. We used to have those, but uh, I mean, 
Damn, I lost the track of thought. Oh, but yeah, you know, me not having, not doing anything closely related to uh, a school curriculum for like, for close to 30 years, um, to be able to walk back in and still be able to get to a point to where I would be helping out the uh, people that were, you know, not too long out of high school in their mid twenties or whatever, some tutoring sessions or whatnot, uh, from to me was very impressive because again, like I said, I hadn't done anything like that, but I was still able still able to do it. So your old methods still apply to this they day. Do. Yeah, you just you just you know don't let it intimidate you. you one, hour, one hour, one hour, we're in, one, one hour, one hour in. Okay. Well, yeah. But um, yeah, don't, whatever's easier. Don't don't let that don't let that uh, the don't let the aspect of school and what you hear and what you see your kids coming home with um, intimidate you on how on on your progress. Right. Because I mean it can be done, and you know um, I didn't know people had went had, had, uh, go to college for a career. That's their career, just to go to college. I didn't know that, but there's the people that made comments that I love school so much now, which is weird for them to say because I, I was the complete opposite in school. I, you know, in grade school, that would say that now. I I know a, a guy that was my director at my last job that said those exact words. I, I agree Seems with him. Seems like you would just want to go to school to go to school. I I, I I can agree with him. You know what I'm saying? Especially, you know, there's nothing like. Um, I mean, yeah, it takes a lot of time, a lot of your time, and you, you, you tend to struggle with with getting your information together to put a get put together a essay or a, write a paper or something yeah. like that. But you know, when you you know after you done done like three or four papers, and you hand a paper into your instructor, and your instructor like this is holds it up in front of the class and says, this is what I want your papers to, to really like yeah. and then passes your your shit around the classroom. Yeah. And and like this is what I want this is what I want you to Yeah. Your 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 papers to to really like. Yeah. That's a that's a crazy feeling. It's better it's better than getting an A in the class. Yeah. It's it only a matter. It is. It is. And you know for someone like me, I would have never thought that I would be in that position, but I wind up in that I wind up in that position, especially in my writing class. Let's go into this news article. Yeah, yeah, enough chitter chatter. No, I want to. I want to see it. So you know the print. That's the bad thing is I'm I'm from here and I I didn't know about this. So give some premise behind it and then we'll we'll, we'll throw it. We'll open it up. Okay, so if anybody follows any kind of news, even your local news, or even receive it on your your mobile devices or whatnot, you know about the the baby, the five year old baby that was found in a suitcase. Um, I think this was around Sellersburg, Indiana, somewhere. Sellersburg. Yeah, Sellersburg, Indiana. Okay. Um, long story short, the um, um, they found this uh, a hunter, a guy out hunting mushrooms, found a, a a suitcase that had a Las Vegas image on it, and uh, that's what the Las Vegas piece means. And the Las Vegas was on the suitcase. Yeah, Las Vegas oh, was, okay, was the okay, design okay. on the suitcase. I seen a know. picture of this. You know, and you know, um, um, I just watched the story of the actual hunter for the first time not too long before we started this podcast. But he said that he wanted to. He was just going to call the police, but then he didn't want to call the police, and it'd be nothing. So that's why he opened it. So he opened it and discovered the the five year old male young boy's uh, um, uh, body stuffed in a suitcase. Do they know? Was it like a like they like kid was put in there li- like like alive? No, he. Uh, or was it like a small no, he suitcase? No, he, like he was already deceased when he when they put him in there. Chopped case. up, or and uh, I think they said he died from uh, um, diarrhea and uh, something else. Long story short, I want to say that he was it was a malnutrition thing. Maybe mm. they starved his mother starved him to death. And, but he uh, wasn't put in there alive. Mm-mm. Wow. Can you imagine that'd be even worse though? You put in the suitcase alive and he just left somewhere. Yeah, I mean it's bad enough as it is, but that right there would be even even worse. Yeah, we could play it. We'll play it. 
But yeah, we we have a, a clip from um, Fox Fifty Nine, Fox 59, yeah. uh, out Indianapolis, of Indianapolis, which yeah. is close to where we are. Um, and, and we haven't watched all this. Yeah, we watched what twenty seconds of it. I not much. Yeah, but we really want to do something to 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 highlight this story and many other stories like that. I wish we kind of we should have kept some of the the stories that we talked about in our first uh, tip taping because we need to talk about the dude who. Who got caught on camera oh, masturbating to a tickle me Elmo? That's <laughs> fucked up, man. In the nursery, dude, yeah, dude was in the nursery masturbating to a tickle me Elmo. Yes, it got caught on nursery cam. Yeah, a home inspector. So you have to yeah. watch, you know, watch he, your home inspectors. Yeah, you have to watch who who comes into your house, no matter what title they use. Because that's fucked up. That dude man. was a state regulated home inspector masturbating to a tickle me. I'm not even sure you could you could find that on on fucking P Hub, man. Mm, wifey said I think he was alive. I don't know about that. Um, hey, so, hold on, hold on. You, you saying she wrong? I said I don't know. Nah, you nah. That's not what. I said I don't know about that because because from, from what I understand that the child was already deceased when they put him in there. So and they said he had died. The story I read. Uh, Say he had died, had died of diarrhea and uh, oh, so you electrolyte just, uh, lack of electrolytes. So you just system. so you just trying to get your whole head cut off. I mean, it is what it is. She worked. She <laughs> so you, yeah, you just you just getting your shit cut off. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm not saying that she's not she's not right. She no, could be she right. Said, no, it's, it's a lie. Are you supposed to like, yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad, my bad. I was wrong. She a lie. He he was a lie. But that would be fake. I mean, fake old my part because I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I, I was under the impression everything that I read that was. That, I and you can the, do that. Oh, uh, okay. Hold on, let me cut you off. For all those who think that, you know, uh, when you're in a relationship that you should, that it's either one way or the other, no, it doesn't work like that. You spend a lot more happier days agreeing to disagree. I'll agree with that. But mm-hmm. I did watch something on Steve Harvey. But oh the, qu- the question was, and no, not the Steve Harvey talk show, but Family Feud. Family Feud, oh lord, that's even worse. Yeah, <laughs> the the question was, uh, damn it, the question was like, what will a man do for sex? Oh, and I've seen that one. So there was like three, four dudes on both combined on both sides, and there's like three dudes in a row. Actually, that's exactly what it was. Three dudes in a row. There's one dude and four women on the other side, mm-hmm. and the one with three, the three men was, you know on it mm. and he was like dude had the buzzer he hits it he's like I don't know if I do this but beg for it number one so, I don't know if it's number one it's, it's up there there's only five questions hey man look <laughs> no hold on so he's like beg for it next next dude right in a row he's like he's uh, what'd he say he said ah fuck uh I don't know what the fuck he said I don't know what the middle dude said third dude was like I'm going to step it up a notch. I would kill for sex. And Steve Harvey's like, yes. Hey, yes, man, motherfucking wee way. Yeah. Hey, hey, ding. Hey, look. Generally, especially if we, when you marry someone, that person right there is literally the apple of your eye. Me, myself, I feel like my wife is one of the baddest people to walk this planet. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. She'll be feeling it, you know what I'm saying? But I'll be looking at her and be looking at that body and be thinking like, man. Hey. So. Go ahead, do your little do, thing. No, so so number four. Co- hey, something, so, the, so the, the females come up on four or five. And she's like, they, and, you know, they have no strikes yet. She said, clean. And the dude, uh, at, uh, at the same time, dude's like, oh, hell. <laughs> Is, is, is it really that easy? Yeah. Cause it, it never I'm telling you right now, if, do, if dudes in the chat, if you cleaning for sex, you a buster. Cleaning? Cleaning. And then the next okay, one was so, like, and the next one said cook. I would cook for sex. And X, X, both of them. I, I disagree with that too because like, look, the more cleaning you do, the less cleaning she has to do. That makes more free time. The whole goal, because you're not going to get none if there ain't no free time. Nah, it's just, there's some time. It's a definition. What's the definition of free time? Free, when there's nothing else to do. 
when there's nothing that she that that can occupy her mind with oh as a as a task or something. So if I, I sleep to... four hours and she sleeps six hours, we'll be doing them two hour gap. That's when you prepare for her to wake up <laughs> six hours and two more hours from now. Nah. My holy would tell you, she'd be like, It's one o'clock in the morning. I gotta get up in the morning. I get I could be up at five. Yeah. And I mean yeah. what? Okay, so she'd be dead. It's yeah. <sighs> I So me, me personally, my personal preference is that I don't really like to to have sex. With my wife, if she's not not in the mood, you know uh, what I'm saying. I just, I so just you, so you, so you just gonna turn me into a savage. Yeah, episode I mean, one, you're gonna turn me. I mean, I'm, I'm the savage now, huh? I mean, I mean, if that's, if that's what it is for you, you don't give a fuck. That's you. You used to try to bust your nut and get up through. That's that is you. Everybody's entitled to be a squirrel. That, oh. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> on, time, on occasion, I've been that squirrel before, but now you know what I'm saying. I really don't. It's my fucker. I really don't. You know what I'm saying. Gotta, I, I mean, there there are years times where 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 can where, I be? Can I be the black squirrel? Yeah, you can be the black squirrel. <laughs> when I'm when I'm uh, when I'm pinned up and it's just like fuck it, you know what I'm saying. I'm just gonna do what I gotta do because I need to get this off the chest. But you know, there's also an enjoyment aspect of it. You get what this, I'm saying? Oh my god, I'm tired. This dude said it too. It's been eleven years now. There's so many nights where it's like, look, I got eight things to do for work tomorrow. I got to get the suit ready for work. I still got to steam my shit. You just if you're trying to get it, you're trying to get it. I got fifteen minutes. That's just what it is. I got to move on. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Done. Steam the suit. Yeah. I mean, and I, I get that. I get that. You know what I'm saying? And um, so I've only been married a little over a year, so I have, you know, I'm new to this. She tells me all the time I got this rosy aspect of what it's supposed to be like, and yeah, it's yeah. not, it's not like that. And yeah, I'm, I'm really understanding that now, you know, but in the beginning, yeah, I thought it was all, you know, bubbly, bubble bath oh, and shit. Oh, hell <laughs> no. <nah. laughs> Hell no! No, no it's she not be coming like in. She like, you want to rub my back? You trying to rub my back? No, then hell no. I still do that shit though. Still, I give, I give, I give, I give foot massages and back rubs and all that. I, I will. I'll you know what I'm saying? But that's just me. You know what I'm saying? Call me whatever the fuck you want to, but my wife love it. That's all that matters to me. So I'm just, I'm just a chump. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> whatever, 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 you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I used to think that that shit was just like just the, the, the hardest, callous is, is aspect of it. Of all. I used to think that shit was hard and callous. Yeah, I seen that. <laughs> <laughs> I seen that. I mean, but she keeps it all the way Ooh, real. Oh, shit. She like, nope. Uh, shit, we moving on right now. We <laughs> moving on. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> She keep it all the way real though. She, you know, saying I, oh, I respect that though because she don't, shit. she don't, you know. I mean, it is what it is. We got other things on our minds and shit that we gotta worry about other than that, you know. I mean, it is what it is. And I'm, nah, it I is. like to think that I'm, I like to think that I'm getting a lot better with that than than the than I was in the beginning because you know I was under this impression that you know I'm supposed to. Nah, see, we so we we still on the show of it's been eleven years, but I can honestly. See, Okay, there's days in there. I, uh, there's days here and there that I can honestly say that this ain't true. Sick shit going on, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. We are very much on the once a day type people. If that's not happening, then I was gonna say we got issues, but that's not true. It's not issues, but we're very much on the at least once a day. So there's so many days where it's like it's ten thirty. We try to go to bed. See, I young though. We're older. We we. we, we, we. <laughs> I'm lucky if it's like, a week. Hey, I've been saving up my energy for three days. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We 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 don't. You know what I'm saying? We don't gotta. We don't right, get into it to it like that. We're gonna move on to this fucking news episode. Back in the day when we was when we we, we, we was twenty years ago when we were first together. Yeah, it was Jack Rabbits. But now, you know what I'm saying, you get to a certain point where, you know. Tortoise in it or what? Yeah. 
Not so much as Taurus. <laughs> he said, you know what I'm saying? If there was something in between the her and the Taurus, where where what that is. You know what I'm saying? I I honestly, you know, I've seen a lot of horror stories when it comes to marriage. You know what I'm saying? I've seen a lot of people who they get married and they gotta still gotta keep their side piece. You know what I'm saying? And and I've seen potentially really good families get broken up because somebody who uh, still wants to live like they were when they were in their early 20s or late teens or whatever. Yeah. You know, in that aspect, I'm kind of glad that I waited till this long to get married. But, you know, real recognize real. There's no disguising realness whatsoever. You could talk a good game. You could you could you you can you can make it seem as perfect as you as you uh, want to be with words, but actually speak louder than words. Uh, she could tell you she loves you all day, every single day, but if she's cheating on you, you're gonna know. Yeah, you will. You know what I'm saying? If that person, if if she's unhappy, she's gonna know. Yeah, I love you. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. My wife tells me all the time, I, I, you know, really barely a year, and I, st- I already get on her nerves. You know, but. It don't get no better. I don't think. It don't I, I get don't think. no fucking better. Actually, it's complete opposite. Motherfuckers be on trends for like days. Hmm. Can, yeah. we, can we take an intermission? Yeah, we'll do an intermission. Shit, hey, we, give us like five. We're going to piss and. Yeah, this is exactly what it is. Oh, yeah. man. We'll be back.
We macaroni and a pot in this motherfucker. All right. That's what that good good sounds like. So you know, you know, we keep it real. Yeah. Motherfucker hungry. Yeah. My sister Wh- makes some spaghetti with some Texas toast. Yeah. She's fire. Wifey had some shit done. You know, we had to. We had to go ahead and make us a plate. Yeah, I gotta put so, something to chase this uh, drink that we. I said it's just that uh, that water. It's that RTC water. Mm. You fuck with the RTC water? Yeah. Mm. That's all right. But yeah. So if you don't like listening to people eat, we sorry. Yeah, we're just keeping it real. Yeah, you move on. Grab you a bite to eat. Appreciate some snacks you. or something. Appreciate Enjoy all the people who are still here. Enjoy the, the podcast. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, where were we? Shit, I don't know. What the fuck were we just talking about outside? Voting. Voting, yeah. They really do that in Kentucky? Yeah. So, in Kentucky, if you become a convicted felon, you lose your right to vote. I'm, I That's live fucked in, up. I live in Indiana now, so I really don't know how that, how that goes. Um, but, yeah. That's crazy they do that over there. You have to petition That's to get your rights back and then the judge. How do you petition to get your right back to vote? You just go, you go downtown and you you file uh, for a court date, and judge has a decision can make the decision. And they will say, "Sorry, you don't have the right to vote." Well, I'm guessing that's how it goes. Hmm. I'm guessing that's how it goes. I can understand gun that's rights crazy. and uh, stuff like that on a convicted felon, but the right to vote, and you know, I mean, there's political agendas involved in that, you know. Yeah. Some people think that everybody is uh, has a lean in your vote where they only vote for uh, a specific party or whatever and don't even base their votes on their, their belief system or ideas or whatever. And I would tell you, from my experience, that is not true. Dead wrong. Most, most, most people have, have uh, beliefs that are very important to them, so they... They vote based on their belief, belief systems. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, a lot of it's based off of their real-world life experience, the things that they can either have experienced or potentially can experience on a daily basis. Mm. I, mean, I mean, that one would think that that alone would 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 would, would Help the candidates tailor their their message to to pers- to pursue individual votes or whatnot, but Shit. they 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 seem to think that all of our votes are based on 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 one of two letters, the R or the D, and it's, it's not like that, you know. Uh, I mean, a lot of people think just because uh, I'm black, I'm going to vote Democrat, and that's that's not true. That's our profile. You know what I'm saying? If there's one community that doesn't really, you know, like to really facilitate interactions with the alphabet gang, which is what what I like to call the LGBTQ community, it's it's the African-American community. This dude said the alphabet gang. Yeah. Hey. Shout out preschool. Right. (laughs) Um, but it's the black community that doesn't, you know, you know, like, like a lot of other, uh, races or communities don't really look fondly on that, those particular activities. You know, there's a lot of us that do, you know, and then there, but there's a lot of us that just be like, well, you know, that's not us, you know, as long as you don't attempt to involve me in it, we're good. We could be cool or whatever. I could see you every day. You could be my homie. If I smoked weed, you could hit the blunt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, don't care about any of that. But then there's a lot of people who do. You know, the black community is uh, is is especially the older black community is extremely religious. You know, right. so. 
a lot of this, a lot of that's frowned upon in the uh, in the Bible. You know, so and that's the that's the the code that they, they choose to live by. I don't, you know, me myself personally, I don't care what you do. I don't have to be involved in it. You know what I'm saying? That's your personal life. Yeah. You know? Like uh, like we talked about once before. I just need to know what to address you as. After that, you know, I don't care. Yeah. What are you? What's the difference between the, the G and the Q? I don't know. What's the difference between being gay? And, what's the difference between being gay or lesbian and queer? I mean, I, th- I mean, I thought it was the same. I shouldn't thing. see that eating a big ass thing of Texas toast, but I'm dead serious. I, I don't. I don't what does know. that mean? <laughs> 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 what does that mean? He said, "Why eating a big ass piece of Texas toast?" What's that? There? It's supposed to mean something. That's a metaphor. Yeah. Oh my god. Shout out Long Beach. Mm. There's only one Long Beach. Yeah, Long Beach Griffey. Yeah, Long Beach Shout Griffey. Out. If you don't know Long Beach Griffey, go check out Long Beach Griffey on YouTube. Yeah, and these are two people that we talked about in our first video that we uh, attempted to make, which you guys will be able to see. Uh, we just limped them both together, and it'll be, it'll, it'll I be. Hope if I can get the shit to export. Yeah, it'll be posted at some point because again, rule number one is to keep it real. So you're yeah. gonna get the bad with the good, yeah. no matter what. So, we so you're gonna we- get the you're gonna get the bad audio. You probably won't be able to understand. You turn it down. All you gotta do is just fast forward a little bit, and then you'll get to the. We put that on Patreon. Where we uh, where we was and name, where we we were. What well, wifey, matter of fact, was like your audio is messed up. <laughs> we hour and a half in. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, but you know, right. we're never gonna like. And I mean, we're only human. We make mistakes. Yeah. We say things. We're probably going to say things that 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 offend people, and that is not our intention. Uh, from the get go of. I'm trying of, to. I'm trying to offend everybody. Yeah. Well, that do. No. <laughs> nah. We're not. We're not trying to offend. No, I mean. I'm not trying to offend offend nobody, but I'm also going to. We keep also it. got a sense of humor. Yeah. Yeah. You know. I you, truthfully want to know what the shit in. The what's all? What all does the plus include? What is that? What is that? You know, and then if you if you, if you even feel like it, you can you can break it down a little bit and tell us what the what those extra letters mean. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because like he said, um, what's the difference between gay and queer? I don't know. Wouldn't it be the, I, maybe I should know being a human being, but I don't I don't know what the fuck that. <laughs> he said, "Being human." <laughs> I mean, you got a point there, though. I don't. I mean, I really don't know. Maybe I should know. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't. I mean, <sighs> we'll let the people tell. I was gonna say, should we look it up? I let the people. I ain't try to. I ain't trying to fuck my browser up. We let people tell us. No. <laughs> 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 no, I mean seriously though, we'll let people tell us. I, Cause I, I don't want to look it up and get the internet's opinion. Well, wow, that, that's that's fucking contradictory. But yeah, internet's we'll gonna get we'll, your his opinion no matter what. Yeah, we we let the subscribers tell us. Yeah, these algorithms have a life of their own. Right? <laughs> I swear, sometimes I think Siri is listening oh, to my man. conversation. Yeah. Because everybody's had that thing where you'd be talking about something and then like you go oh, search oh, something man, in, in Facebook yeah, ad. It's an ad. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Siri, stop listening to my conversations because it's not cool. <laughs> Put myself out on Front Street. <laughs> <laughs> so while we're sitting here eating, we're gonna fuck with this news camp video. Okay. Oh yeah, we we so yeah, let's, so let's, let's, so let's let's go back onto you know. So for the, for the people for the newer and old people that are here. Okay, so um, give us a gist of what it's about. So I should know. I live here. I don't know. It's about a five-year-old boy that was found in a Las Vegas suitcase in, in the um, in the forest, basically, by a person who was uh, out hunting for mushrooms. And um, you know, the crazy part about that is that, like, the for hunt, a while, the hunter was out searching for mushrooms. Yeah, he was out searching for mushrooms. Not sure what kind of mushrooms. Yeah, Might uh-huh. look for some some of those shrooms or something yeah. like that. Yeah, but some of those cooking ones or shrooms, we don't know. Yeah, we don't know. You know. He didn't specify. And he he seen the the suitcase and he was 
you know, first instinct was to call law enforcement and um and that's what he did, but he didn't want to call law enforcement and it be nothing. So he opened up a suitcase and, you know, discovered what he saw, you know, which is like I couldn't imagine finding something like that. Uh, it it is what it is. And you that's know, crazy. I'm pretty sure those images of him is going to haunt him for the rest of his life. Oh yeah. Of of seeing something like that, but. I mean, I'm glad he did. They, okay, so, and, um, um, it took them a a little bit of time, like six months. It's like a six-month story, right? Yeah, Yeah. six, six, five or six months to figure out. It's like May or something like that. It's when they first, first found it. The child's name, which, the child, I can't remember his name right off the bat, but it's, but they'll say it in this, uh, this news clip. I can't remember. And, uh. His mother and her friend. I don't know what the relationship is with the... Uh, it was her friend that yeah. did it with her? They, we don't know. Like the news said, they don't know what the relationship between the mother and uh, the other lady is. Or uh, female. I'm not even calling her a lady because a lady would do something like that. Or be a part of something like that. But and she other, said the baby was like a demon or something? Yeah. She tweeted out that the... Uh, oh, my God. That this five-year-old child that she murdered, which was her own child, was... Uh, not five years old. He was actually a hundred years old, and a, a demon that was trying to to haunt her or something like that. No. The child, the child's haunting you, but not because of it being a demon. It's haunting you because of what you did. Oh man, that's crazy. You need to turn yourself in. I can't believe I. And she's still on the run. Yeah, she's still on the run, and that's another reason why we're we're bring we're doing this story because, you know, every little bit helps. Maybe somebody who. Just happens to run across our podcast and sees this. We'll 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 see who she is, and can help her, and can can facilitate help facilitate her being held accountable for her actions. That's crazy, you know. Because you know, a suitcase. The child is the child's five years old. There's there's nothing that a child of that age could have done to warrant something like that. Except four, five, There's five, 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 five year old young male, you know, and you know, um, <laughs> that's crazy, man. I'm not a fan of people who say, okay, this type of thing happens, so that's that community, or this type of thing happens, and that's that community. No, these things happen. People, humans are humans. Humans do fucked up things. In, in general, just period. Don't matter, you know. Don't matter where you came from. You know, preacher's son, preacher's daughter, whatever. You sh- people still wind up doing some of the most heinous acts. Yeah, that's crazy. All right, so we've been talking about this nude article for an hour. We'll go ahead and show it. Is this for, nude article? For, did I say nude. Yeah, you said nude. <laughs> This news article. <laughs> yeah, this this ain't a nude five year old. Let's not get the headlines of people's shit fucked up. Yeah. Nah, we were talking about this news article for a while. We'll go ahead and show it. We begin here first at four with a major breakthrough in the investigation into the five year old boy found inside of a suitcase in southern Indiana. Police now know his name, and they believe they know who the people involved in his death That's are. That's crazy. Thank you for yeah, joining this afternoon. I'm Nick McGill. And I'm Derek Shaw. I don't know either one of these people on Fox 59 Jesse anymore. Wells tells us police are still searching for one of their suspects. A nationwide search is underway for the victim's mother, and state police are still asking for help tracking her down. At the same time, the second suspect was arrested last week in California. In these woods in Washington County, state police say a mushroom hunter found this distinctive suitcase in April. Inside was the body of a five-year-old boy. The victim was buried in an anonymous grave because his identity remained a mystery until now. State police say that victim was Cairo, Georgia. Was that paper mushrooms? It's a bittersweet day. Nothing's going to change the... Was she... Medina, you stood out muted. It's a bittersweet day. ...was buried in no. an anonymous grave. Look. ...because his identity remained a mystery until now. State police say that victim was... Cairo, those paper Georgia. mushrooms? No, those are... Uh, 
it's a bit of candle holders, paper Nothing's candle holders. The fact that they are. Not with us, yeah. But ah, uh, people gonna be in the comments like, no, you dumb motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, they look like mushrooms. Oh, they are. You're right. They are. It's what sort of wax don't get on your fucking fingers or something. Yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately. This motherfucker's carrying paper mushrooms. <laughs> unfortunately, I've seen so many um, memorial events to people who have died of gun violence that, you know, just, just a glance I could tell you what it is. Yeah, I got you. you. Know. Yeah. That's crazy. This dude is chomping. I'm hungry. <laughs> Hey, we keep it real on this channel. We don't give a fuck. Man, I got alcohol in my system. police say that victim was Cairo Jordan from Atlanta, Georgia. It's a bittersweet day. Nothing's going to change the fact that Cairo's not with us, but um, but we're very thankful for the information that we do have, and we're going to step forward. Court records claim fingerprints found on a trash bag inside the suitcase led investigators to two suspects, including the boy's mother. It's literally, it's literally a Las Vegas thing. Huh. Wanted for murder. That's crazy. Public's helping Can you go back to that picture? And bring her to justice. This woman right here is the child's mother. Uh, they'll get to tell, they'll get, they'll say her name in a, in a little while. But, you know, this is the woman who tweeted out that, that tweet said that her child, her five-year-old was a demon. Hundred-year-old demon. A hundred-year-old demon. You know, so if, if anybody knows this lady, you know. Help us bring her to justice. Help, you know, help them bring her to justice. Not help us. Help them bring her to justice. Cause she needs to be. She needs to be hand, held accountable for that. I can't believe she's still a large for that. How long has she been a large? You know, has it been a week? No, she's been in. Well, I don't. She's been in. She's been at large for at large since they discovered. You know, because they found they found out who she was by fingerprints mm -hmm. left on the trash bag or whatever. Wow. That's or crazy. Left on the bag. You can't get away with nothing no more. No. Six months old, they motherfuckers found fingerprints on her. You Honey. might as well not even try nothing no more. No, no, you can. You know, I mean, that's not gonna stop fools from trying. But no, hell no. But she yeah. wear no, she wear no gloves. I mean, the heat of the moment thing where criminals are just stupid. Where people are just reacting and they're not thinking like nah, that. That's but true, even yeah. even with that said, with that said, you know. The human body cell sheds hair, sheds skin yeah. cell. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, and they know all. They know to look for all that. So you're, you, you know, you may get away with it for a while. You may not be in the system where they can figure out who you are, or whatever. But the minute you get that ticket or you get locked up for whatever, now a lot of states take your blood when you yeah. when you when you're arrested and 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 compare it to the national database. Or whatever, and you, you, you. I mean, you might get away with it for a while, but you, you're gonna have your day. You're yeah. gonna have your day regardless, yeah. whether you stand before the court of man or you stand before the court of God. One of the two, you know. And that's crazy. Man. And you know, I don't know though, because like. A lot of heinous things were done in the name of God. Murder. Oh, my Just bad. The, the public's help in finding her and, and bringing her to justice. This whole case is all about justice for Cairo. That's the only thing this case has ever been about. Cairo. 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 Cairo Jordan. So his name, his name is two Middle Eastern states. Cairo Jordan. Mm -hmm. Or cities or whatever. Where the victim was found. An autopsy concluded the boy died from an electrolyte imbalance with no obvious signs of trauma. This affidavit doesn't provide an exact motive again. for the death. But I said right there. Mm -hmm. She believes, well, and he has good causes to Washington and the state of Indiana. Oh, they got the picture on top, can't see. Yeah. Court of Washington County, state of Indiana. That's crazy. But it details a series of strange Facebook messages police mm. say the mother sent about demons, exorcism, and dark magic in the days before the boy was found. Mm -hmm. This investigation has a lot of twists and turns, a lot of information. That's still just the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot of information in this case. This booking photo showed Anderson in March following an arrest for a shoplifting incident in Louisville. 
She was released in April. In Louisville? Mm -hmm. Oh, she, she's from down that way. Uh, she's from New Albany, Indiana. Right. On the mother's location is asked to contact Indiana State Police. The second suspect is expected to be returned to Indiana in the coming weeks. They found her in Cali. That's crazy. She tried to flee to Cali and still didn't make it. Yeah, there's nowhere in the world you can hide from stuff like that. There's no, no, no world, nowhere in the world, not even stuff like that, just in general. If there's a warrant on your name, eventually you're going to get found. You can't, it ain't like it was back in the day before the internet, before where you could use fake social security numbers and, and a lot of employers would, 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 would not even bother to check because the, the process was so rigorous and took so long. But nowadays, no, there's, there's nothing you can really get away with, period. That's crazy. Period. What do you think about that? That's a that's an upcoming segment. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, though? Well, I will, I will above five. <laughs> if you know, you know. If you, well, they will know. Yeah. Okay, but yeah. That's crazy, though. Yeah, you can't get away with shit nowadays. You might as well not even try. No, I mean, honestly... I mean, like, um, Louisville's like, uh, like, like one of the, like any other major metropolis is still a, a fast growing city, a lot of people in a, uh, a condensed area. And, um, um, the thing about, the thing about crime, especially, especially in the hood, you know, a lot of people think they can get away with stuff as long as nobody snitches on them or whatever, and that's not that's that is no longer the case. It's it, it, it's 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 steps that go into this, into an investigation that that will lead you, or will, will lead law enforcement to you right. at some point, at some time, and then you know, especially with these shootings. While everybody else is not going to say something, the people of the, the person of the victim's family is going to say something. They're they're going to they're going to they're going to want to seek justice for their loved one. You know, especially a mother who lost a, a preteen or a young child. Just in general, I'm not even going to put an age limit on it. Just a, a child to gun violence, or a father for that matter, or anybody they lost a child to gun violence. They're going to pursue. Who uh, pursue people who they think, you know, um, or not even who they think, but just try to pursue and to get the right person who who harmed their loved one. Yeah. So you're so, so you, you, I mean, you'll you'll be on the run for a while. You know what I'm saying? But they once found her in Cali, she had to have done something though. It's not like she just they just found her. No. no. Pick. Nope. Because if you if you uh, once you register register your your ID. Or you switch your ID over and yeah. So she fled to Cali though, but they they knew who she was before she fled to Cali. Yeah. Oh, okay. I could see it going the other way too though. Like they had some sort of evidence, and then she was in California. It got pulled over. Hey, you got a warrant in Indiana. What's it for? Yeah, but that goes back to me saying that you're not you're not really able to falsify information on your driver's license and, and you can't there's no place where you can really go and get like a fake ID no more that really you know I mean I'm pretty sure there's people with their printers at home or whatnot with the ability to make IDs that are fake or whatever but they don't they don't hold anything they don't hold no weight whatsoever you can't use it for anything nowadays because in 15 minutes you know somebody can type in your your license number your social security number and know exactly who you are right and you know you're a 21 year old uh, try to register a vehicle, and then you you you, but your your social security number is registered to somebody who died 150 years ago. You know, they're they're gonna know. They're gonna know whether that person died 150 years ago or yesterday. Right. That's crazy. And I mean, I mean, it's just the world we live in. I mean, it's it's a good thing. It is. It, it, it is. It, it really is. Thing. Whether people, other people believe it or not, it's it's a good thing. You know, privacy. Privacy is one thing. Being able to do wrong and think nobody else is supposed to hold you accountable for it is another. Yeah. 
you know, that's a that's one of the things about the block. A lot of things happen on the block where it's supposed to stay contained to the block, but that's not true. You know what I'm saying? Because you kill, you know, you kill this dude who 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 had a drug problem, you know, but you already got what he wants, so you decide to rob him and kill him for whatever money he's got on him from. And you really think you're supposed to get away with that? But do they though? Sometimes they do. A lot of times they don't. There's a <clears throat> Patrick mm-hmm. guy I know. He uh, had some family members that were something about it was they was they was in a big city and and I think it Indy and uh, the dude was like remodeling a house or something and dude like shot and killed somebody out front and then walked in between the two houses and one of them was one he was remodeling and saw the dude through the window and uh, he went out like snitch though. What do you mean? Cops showed up. They showed up out front. He wasn't told. And everybody was standing around like. Hey, man, but, okay, so. He was just standing out front. And the cop, even, he, he, supposedly, even the police were like, y- you want to go down to the station? No, no, I'll tell you right here. You sure you want to go down and tell us downtown? No, no, I got it right here. But see, that's, right. the, that's the civilian aspect of it. If you're a civilian, you know, and you're not a part of it, then yeah. You know, there's really no no guidelines to that. You know, a lot of people like to say that there is, but there's not. You know, you you shoot you you rob somebody in front of an eighty year old church lady just because she lives right off the street doesn't mean that she's not supposed to, you know, come forth with any information that she has. That's that's crazy. You know, I mean. To me, the whole snitching part only applies to people who are involved. So, you know, if I so if I if I was on the block hustling just like this other person right there, I can't be out here trying to, you know, what I'm saying that's the whole six nine thing. You know, you can't snitch nine. You, you can't you can't you you can't be out here trying to live this life and then, you know, all of a sudden when shit get bad for you, want to snitch on everybody. Is that what happened? I don't really know his story. I mean, I know he snitched, but I don't know his story. I mean, from what I understand, and this is only part of it, but from what I understand, he, uh, he, like some of the people that were in his immediate circle, whether they were his record label execs or whatever, you know what I'm saying, was, 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 was knocking his baby mama or whatever, you know, and he felt some kind of way about that, which I understand that too, you know what I'm saying? But there's no loyalty in the streets. There's none, none. I don't care what anybody tells you, there is no loyalty loyalty in the streets. The only loyalty you gain in the streets is by respect, period. Right, right. Anything else other than that, you, you, you don't expect it. <coughs> Do not expect it. Zero. Mm-hmm. Yeah, real talk. Real talk. That's it, crazy. It, it's just it's just as simple as that. There's really no other way no other way to put it. There there isn't there isn't the only loyalty you get in the street is by respect. To this day. Oh, yeah. And I kinda feel like that's the way it's always been. For real, for real. You know. Because if the if 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 the quote unquote real people, the real the real G's and OGs and YGs don't respect. What the hell's a YG? Young gangsters. Oh, okay. <laughs> don't respect you. You know what I'm saying? Then then you're gonna get whatever is given. They ain't gonna hesitate to holler at your baby mama. You know what I'm saying? It's generally what it is because most none were never married, you know. Uh, they're they're gonna they're gonna chump you in 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 the price for the package, you know. <laughs> you know. That's fucked up. They're gonna set you up to get robbed. That's that's like 
So Lil Wayne, Mona Lisa, for real. Ah. That shit, that shit really go down. I mean, it, yeah. Follow, <laughs> follow the <laughs> motherfucker home from the club. Yeah. For, yeah. Yeah. It shit goes down. Find a chick, they'll do it. That's why you never really go to the club, especially not strip club, uh, shining like that. You want to, you know what I'm saying? Honestly. Slum it? No, you don't have to slum it, Buckle per se. Aaron Rags. But you don't want to be in there throwing bands <laughs> and then got to drive home by yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you, cause you're going to get got, you know. And nowadays, especially nowadays, they don't care where you at. You be on the expressway doing 60, 75 miles an hour and they still going to shoot at you. Make your wreck, go in your pockets, go in your truck, and then pull the fuck off. Wasn't there a story like that? Oh, there's a lot of stories like that. That's crazy. So where you want to go next? You want to do one or you want to do the other one? Why don't we save this one? You want to do, do Walmart? Bad. We you save this for last. One? You want to do this last? Let's do Walmart. You want to yeah. do Walmart? Yeah. And motherfuckers, there's some crazy motherfuckers in there. Yeah. Yeah, you want to hear some, you want to see some funny shit? Go spend a few uh, hours so in Walmart. You guarantee, you guarantee to see at least one crazy story. Something you want to tell someone see, about. We, see, we did one of these in the other live, in the podcast, but we ain't seen this one yet. Oh, uh, yeah. Not really. Yeah. You do it now? Yeah. We do it now. Shout out to who who made this video. Yeah. Who put this together, video together. Feel like Crazy I'm shopping. people in Walmart part four. I feel like I'm shopping for Christmas. Mm. Okay, security cam. What the hell are we watching? I don't know. That's why I'm waiting. I'm waiting for something interesting to happen. Wait a minute. Maybe that's what. It's, maybe that's what it is right there. But had in front of the. No, that's not it. Whoa! What's he slam? The kid over slamming something. No, what? Are we... What are we watching here? What is this? Did I miss it? Oh, oh, oh. The fight <laughs> broke out. What? 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 Hold on, where did that come from, though? Okay, there's three motherfuckers standing there. Oh, somebody uh, he just swung. he just approached him and boom, the fight broke out. Is this another angle of the one we watched before? I don't know. I don't. No, because that was like on the on the other side. Yes, what I'm saying. This is this is is this where it started? I don't know. Dude just swung. Oh, it's done. Hey, dude put his dude put his cuffs up and flipped his head around. I don't know, he just grabbing his shit. He fuck I'm out of here. What the hell? People grabbing their kids. Yeah, you know it's normal. You know it's normal shit in Walmart when motherfuckers when, just grab their kids. Yeah, everybody's just still going on, still <laughs> putting their stuff on the on the conveyor. Nobody stops for real. What the hell? You seen? Just, oh, shell sideways now. The hell? The fuck is going on here? Hey man, you need to. Uh, they needed to unlock their camera rotation. They <laughs> did. Sitting here like this. <laughs> what the hell is going on though? Is she? Is she naked? I mean, we see panties. Or oh, whatever. But uh, somebody mean, put a. What? I mean, I guess shout out for old girl trying to <laughs> give us something. Here's honesty. a shopping bag. She tripping? You think? Oh, her pants are down. To, uh, to oh, her see, ankles. they are. They are. I see that now. Mm. I mean, all this music and shit, man. I mean, yeah. That's all we need is a copyright strike. Somebody's back, fucking background music. Yeah, we're bound to get them. 
I don't know what's going on here. Maybe she was a shoplifter and he's still tra- and she tried to fight Holding back. Holding her down. He's, he's still trying to restrain her. That's a big dude. He just putting his weight on her like, no, you ain't going nowhere. And the cold part is that she gonna be right there, most likely tell actual law enforcement <laughs> to arrive. So she's at the front of the store. Everybody just watching. Everybody is just watching too. That's crazy. And, and filming or whatever. That's crazy. Why everybody just sitting there watching? Cause there really ain't nothing else to do. <laughs> so, whoa! What the hell? Oh, damn! Where the oh, fuck did she still, come this from? This still got a nice stick out. Where the hell did she come from? I think that that uh, does that dude actually a police officer? I think he how he got a gun. No knee on the neck though. Damn! Look at that shit. This dude using a nice stick. Is the chick on the ground actually in cuffs? Yep. She must be. Yes, she is. Oh, yeah. She panties out. What the hell? Itching and shit. <laughs> <laughs> he gets above or below. Mm, that's below. <laughs> Definitely below. Man, her like that, too? No. Okay. Did she say, look at mama? Is that what she said? I don't know. Oh, she gangster. <laughs> At least right now, anyway. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Talk about who they get their cartridge yeah. from. Hey, don't get your pills from over here. You go down there. Don't get your pills from Robert. <laughs> yeah. Whoever the hell Robert is, they just put you all on blast, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> the, hold on, sexy swing a second ago though. Hold on, my bad. The sexy swing at him. She stole a bag? Mm. Uh, oh, she, she, she did take a she bag. She stole a bag. I don't know about the lottery machines. She threw that, she that shit. <laughs> oh. She did to stop that fucking. That, that's a, that is a she did to stop that shit. Yeah, it is. They don't want no smoke. Look at this dude. He, I'm just trying to get my shit. I'm gonna do my part. I'm gonna put this shit bag. back. <laughs> hey, he like, y'all bitches crazy. Gonna put this shit back. He's sitting there like, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is her store. Damn, she pushed her out, out, <laughs> out of the store. Oh, damn. It's all now. You ain't. Oh, it's it's all. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Big E. <laughs> Come on, Big E. She's not even in your weight class, homie. Shout out, Big Joe. Mm. Oh, that's dude brought up Big Joe. <laughs> <laughs> you won't see anything like his old Big Joe. No. Oh, my bad. Zach, we missed you, bro. Oh, yeah. Do you do you think gangster rappers should be shut down? Like, like conspiracy a- therapists. Shit is damaging for both white and black. Gangster rappers? I don't I don't think so. You know what I'm saying? Because, again, it's, it's, it's the art of storytelling for the most part. Especially. Are we talking about, like, new age gang- gangster rappers that are saying they're, quote, unquote, did some real shit or people really storytelling? I mean, or is there even a mid difference? It's, I mean, there's a there's a there's a slight difference. I will say that um, most people yeah 
probably so. But um, I I don't, I don't know that you can because um, there's a lot of stories right now where artists are being are trying uh, they're trying to prosecute order, uh, artists based on their lyrics or their songs. Shit they said. Yeah. They've been like, trying to uh, do that for a while though, haven't they? Yeah, like you I know, mean, way back to it, then they do that. Yeah, they try to. You know what I'm saying? From the even from the get go, way back in the day when it was two live crew. You know, they try to get them banned from from being able to make music just because of the nature of their lyrics or whatever. Yeah. And you know, like to this day, there's a uh, young gunner and young thug from uh, uh, being hit with a RICO charge, and they're trying to use their their lyrics and stuff like that. Or uh, Melly, you know, who is actually facing a murder charge. Uh, from what I understand, I'm not sure, but a. a he said he killed one of his friends or whatever, and they're trying to use um, his song, you know what I'm saying, or his lyrics against him. And I mean, it's an art form, and it's the art. Uh, s- s- storytelling itself doesn't have to be literal in nature, you know. That's why sure. we have fictional books and this, that, and the other. And all it is is just the same thing in a more street or relatable instance over music. It's, it's yeah. just the same thing. You know, they tried to go after the ghetto boys and stuff for, for things like that back in the day. You know? Because uh like like Two Light like Crew, a lot of a lot of the a lot of the old school ghetto boy songs were directed towards politicians and the things that they were seeing down in, in Texas that, you know, they felt like they needed to speak on. Right. You know? And I mean, even with that said, you still, you can't silence someone's opinion. I was going to ask you that. So even if they are, so being, being I mean, do, do rappers fall under some freedom of speech shit? They're going to say what they have to say. I mean, and, yeah. And I mean, to me, to, for the most, most part, yes. For 99% of it, because you rarely have a rapper. Oh, shit, my bad. You rarely have a rapper or, or artist of some sort saying, you should go do this. You should go do X, Y, Z. Do X, Y, Z. You know what I'm saying? Especially not in a, in a heinous manner. You know what I'm saying? Generally, they're, uh, they're, this is what I would do. You know what I'm saying? Or this is how I get down in this situation or whatever, but you know, a lot of them don't. A lot of them, even these new artists, don't be like, "Well, hey kids, sell drugs." Right. You know what I'm saying? Hey kids, get a gun, shoot your shoot shoot the your your the person you don't like in the school. Motherfuckers nowadays just mumble. Yeah, well, you, yeah, you can really we can't talk about understand. that earlier, but motherfuckers nowadays. Yeah, I can't speak for the people I can't understand. Oh man. <laughs> but you know, they don't. It's not. It's not really like that and you know they try to say oh well this is glorifying this or glorifying that uh misogynistic misogynistic right. uh, uh aspects towards a women or gun violence or drug use or whatever and i mean in some ways it kind of is but in in most ways it's fictional it's fictional you know I mean, let's take let's take let's take Fifty Cent for example. You know, if you if you paid attention to, uh, um, you know, some of the documentaries that were put out about him, this, that, and the other, then yeah, you, you know, you know what kind of life he had before, you know, the music. Yeah. This, that, and the other. Uh. He don't glorify what happened in the past. You know what I'm saying? He's. I would argue that you could say he's matured since back then. You know. A lot of this is a lot of it. A lot of it is uh, lessons to be taught to other people who may be going through the same thing or be in the same position or think that you know, whatever is whatever for whatever reason. I haven't seen no docs or documentaries on 50 Cent. But I would tend to agree. You know, I mean, a lot of us said they used to be a, a jacker, a robber, or whatever, you know. 
the dude from the block that you don't really want to mess with at all under any circumstances whatsoever. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, whether that's true or not, that's 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 up for that's up for you know people who actually experience the that environment to say. You know, but for for the most of us on the outside looking in, we can't validate that. You know, and nor should we even try to. You know. Shout out Zach too. Our 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 father shit's not working. Music is music is is is. Hip hop has always been a a, a, a great tool for giving getting out information mm-hmm. to the people who who otherwise wouldn't receive that information because they're not, you know, tuned in to news or right. have a chance to see. So people lo- listening to the underground and that's yeah. It. So people, you so you know, a lot of things going on, especially in you know, but where where you have cities where you have big name artists who represent their city and they talk about things that go on in their city, and all the major cities have artists that are that fit in that category. Right. So a lot of that stuff that they talk about is just stuff that applies to them. You know, um, we can't apply. Something that happened to you know Scarface or Nip or somebody like that to that they discussed to us because we didn't experience stuff like that. But we under but but it's like the Bible. Mm-hmm. A lot of it's metaphorically speaking. It's it's instance driven. You know what I'm saying? This dude already know what I was. Yeah. <laughs> hey. You're supposed to gather what you. You're supposed to gather what you can out of it. You know, and yeah, you know, I was listening, but you started talking about metaphors. Mm. Shout out Long Beach. No, here we go. <laughs> That's a metaphor. Yeah, Zach, if you ain't heard about Long Beach Griffin, you can check him out on YouTube, man. If you, if you know, you know. Yeah, Long Beach Griffin. There's only one Long Beach Griffin, man. That's just. But thanks for telling us our follows. Our follow stuff's not working. When somebody follows it, it don't show. All right, we can take a look at that. Okay. Yeah. We just set that up too. I, we weren't even gonna put it up there. Actually, I wouldn't even go put it. Up. I, you know, we got the followers at the bottom, whatever. But I was gonna put it up at the top. I wasn't gonna do it. It's kind of last minute, and I, I, I set it up like donators, followers, type of stuff. But yeah, must, I mean, not, it must not be working. I mean, we're new to this. Yeah. You know, we've been talking about doing this ten years. Yeah. So we're gonna try to do it right. So we want to try to fix it, but. Yeah, we you know, have an idea. How, up. Yeah, we have an idea how it's supposed to go because we follow, you know. Oh yeah, Let's, support I watch, people I watch that a lot of podcasts. Produce content that we like. Yeah, you know, but you know, for us doing this ourselves, this is literally for real, for real, the first episode. So yeah, you know, well, it's one point one. We did we we did record five hours of it. Yeah, the other one just turned into a test. Oh, I done fucked it up. Let's see. See, right now, we, we lost video. We done took that break. Lost video and lost track of time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's heavy. It's starting to get cold. Bro. It's all right. We done, uh, you know, it is what it is. I should have hit the button. I didn't hit it. Yeah, as you can see, this is straight out of the basement. Yeah, we don't mess around. That's literally what it is. I, I should have uh so the DSLR we're using is uh uh you got we gotta switch it every now and then. And I, I I'm sorry, we gotta hit a button. If we got a remote, we're supposed to be changing it or hitting a button to keep it the yeah. live view open on DSLR and we went upstairs, got food, went outside, done messed it up. That's all right though. Yeah, I mean it's live. Yeah. And, uh, at some point, hopefully, God bless, we'll we'll get to the point to where we big big budget and got a producer in the background. Right now, it's just us two. Yeah. So every Which is cue, real. every cue of every video or any any aspect of this whole entire podcast is just us two. Yep. Period. We do, we do everything live. So appreciate you telling us this messed up though. We could get this this dude's yeah. third comment. Also talking about the vid, she probably pulling her own shit down by or to make a scene. That's probably true. Yeah. Fuckers to do anything now to make a scene. Yeah. Looking like a junkie. 
that's that might be true too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah. 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 No. Because there was no. Thinking. There's no excuse for her pants to be all the way down to her ankles. He's, he, he's right though. Uh, noble people think socially accepted or socially acceptable. What's socially acceptable now? It's just wrong. Yeah, I think it's it's, it's always it's, been wrong, but it's getting worse and worse and worse. Yeah. So social acceptability now is tend to be more user based. <laughs> 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 It's whatever floats your boat because you know there's a there's a lot of atmospheres out here, and you know whichever one people tend to to, to migrate towards is what they choose to yeah to be in. You know what's what's good for you may not interest me at all. You know, uh, hold it down for a second. Some people may be even repulsed by certain certain images and uh, environments and certain things. You know, it is what it is. But having a little technical aspect happening on a little technical. Well, let me get the remote working. Oh, okay. But get a chance, you guys go check out our website, uh, respectthecode.net, where you can find. Uh, our merch shirts. Oh, Done clothes and everything. Yeah. You know we live. It's all right, man. Let's see how over, it looks. Over tripping over shit. Because the screen, the the, the stream will freeze. Back up though. <laughs> oh man. Supposed to let a brother know what's going on. Oh man, I could have at least <laughs> attempted to save it or something. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> she said, holy just. <laughs> it's even got the camera options. She changes modes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's funny. That's, that's right, funny. Man. Bloopers. Yeah. What you catch on Patreon, what you catch on Patreon. I tripped over the whole cord, too. I fucking fell myself. Talk about some bloopers. Literally. <laughs> That's crazy. Now the the remote fucked up. Since I uh, switched the, since we gotta keep it going. Yeah. Hey man, people respect the code. Eventually they'll know. We keep it real. It's all raw footage. Mm -hmm. We try to do nothing special. It is what it is, for real. Finish this. You want to finish the Walmart? Yeah. Is it back up? No. It looks like it is. Yeah. Do for real, though. What's socially acceptable now is 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 different from what it used to be. So so I see twenty minutes ago, Zach, that you follow, but he's right, it's it's not showing up top. I'll have to look at that. Like mm -hmm. we could see it on our end that you followed and we probably should have caught that, but uh, yeah. it's not showing up top. And we have alerts turned off too. Maybe we that's talked what about it is. well maybe. Maybe. 
Could be. Hmm. All right, you ready? Yeah. Back to the video. (laughs) 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 After tripping over the shit. That's that's what the fire wire does to you. (laughs) Fire fire water does to you. Oh, it's over. Oh, Big E then came out of a wig and everything. (laughs) Big E. Yeah, he got a wig in her hand. In his hand. She probably can't breathe for real. B, he don't give a fuck. Oh, come on with this. That was it. What do we have here? She at the pharmacy? Mm-hmm. Yep. She in one of those cards. Money back. Mm-hmm. Come on with the background music. <laughs> oh, she always. Oh, but, but she needs <laughs> that. <laughs> she got. Why she? Hold her back. Oh, my God. Back this motherfucker up real quick. <laughs> now, hold on, let me back this motherfucker yeah, up. She's right not about quick. throwing that motherfucker. Hold on, now. let me back this motherfucker up. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. You know this motherfucker in the background, like, I'm getting this. Yeah. I'm getting this. <laughs> she like, don't let this, this uh. Let this cart this fool you. This cart fool you. Fool you. <laughs> mm. Mm. Holding her back and on. <laughs> This shit hurt, but I'm going to whoop your ass. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to go lay down for like three days. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Look at this chick right here. She's looking over like, what the fuck going over there in the vines? Somebody said we need some security over here. What's you to buy medicine? Nah, I get my money back. Mm-hmm. Beep. 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 <laughs> Hold on, what'd she say though? What'd she say when she was leaving? Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Mm. Something, something, bitch. She said, film all of it, bitch. Uh, oh, yeah, she did. Yeah, she sure is. She sure <laughs> did. <laughs> All in the back and everything. Hey, play with her money. She was bad back and all. Oh, she done got the receipt out. Come on with the music. I know. Like this is a country wrestling cookie shop. <laughs> you gonna pop off? Oh, oh. what the hell? Damn, it's humble. I ain't gonna help you. <laughs> That's fucked up. Damn. Oh, then it spilled off into the back. <laughs> Damn, this dude just sit there and was like, and... What the hell is she? What's she doing? She, she was just working? Walked out, yeah, she just walked out and came from, out from the store side. Look at this dude. I'm taking my shit. I'm gone. Look, don't forget my receipt. <laughs> That's fucked up. 
That's how it be though. On site means it, on it, site. It looked like the it looked like damn near the auto parts section, but kind of looked like the. Oh, this dude done saved the door. Let me put this shit in the way. Of the... Oh, you dropped your phone. Bro. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, they still with this music. Oh, she charged CJ. Can I? I'm still online. Can I exchange my uh, shit? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's how it be, though, at Walmart. Damn. I mean, it be like that anywhere. Your yeah, I've seen yeah. you. It's on on site. And a lot of it be senseless, like, bullshit that they be fighting over. This dude said, you have to kill her, brother. No. What the fuck going on? <laughs> For the whole shit, just fall, fall over. Dude just walked up like, you know. That's crazy. Lost. I don't know. Zach, I don't know if he's still here, man. The lost his comments. I don't know why. Probably because I done spilled the fucking <laughs> laptop over the fucking ground. <laughs> it is what it is. There we go. Came I back don't out. know why it's not on there. Ain't no telling. Who knows? Probably sp spilled the shit all over the ground. Like, fuck this up out of here. That dude poured out your comments. <laughs> Damn, we still going with this shit. Yeah, I'm like waiting. There must be something else going to happen. I mean, oh, damn. We took it in the bathroom? Oh, what? What the fuck is this? What is going on here? Oh, he's what the done. fuck is this dude doing? Uh, I think he, I don't know. What the fuck is he doing? I don't know. His best Hulk impression, I guess. <laughs> Look at You're this like, dude. Oh, I'm, oh. I'm going. I'm gonna crush you, Hulk smash. <laughs> uh, it's fucked up. I don't tell him, man. That's just like you know. It's big old fucking. That's crazy. It's the whole half of this video for real. Oh my god! I'm willing, I'm willing to pitch. I'm willing to place a wager on what this whole incident was about. What do you think it's about? A female. Give me my money back. I'm willing to bet one dollar that it was over a female. You think? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> You're yeah. talking about my old lady. It really be you. You, you fuck my baby mama. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not going to do that. It's just, uh, it's no point. First of all, it takes two to tangle. Oh, hell no. Nah. My bad. I was trying to fucking finish it with another one, but damn, man, it's fucking. It, it takes it takes two to tangle, so, you know, it's really no point to, to go after the person that your significant <laughs> other was cheating on you with because, you know what I'm saying? I mean, honestly, you shouldn't even go after your, the person you're in a relationship with for that. Yeah, I understand. It's hard. It sounds like a cool thing to say or whatever. But no, fuck, fuck that shit. Walk the fuck away. It's not worth the whole beefing with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Because one thing always leads to another. You, now you want, you you know what I'm saying? You just found out your ex, your yo. And this is goes triple for the people who who try to hold on to their exes or whatever. You 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 mad because now your ex or what's that you found out your girl or uh, your husband or your man or whatever whatever you own whatever it is is cheating on you with someone else. But that's their decision. Yeah, that shit hurts. Yeah, yeah, that's just go. You know what I'm saying? Crush how you feel about things for a while. But you, you, 
you'll you'll get over it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And for me, I don't I'm not trying to have be five years down the line thinking about what I should have did and shouldn't have did right in that situation. Right. It's, I'm 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 just done with it. Period. There's no need to there's no need to me fighting with my spouse because she made her, her decision or whatever. There's nothing I could do to change it, so what's the point? Right. You know, so, yeah, I'm going to be crushed. I'm going to be hurt. You know what I'm saying? But there's, a, there's, a, there's billions of people in this, on this planet. And uh, what one won't do for you, another hey, one will. If you know, you know. That's it. It reminds me of uh, when you were just sitting here talking about uh, uh, when you're looking at the feed right after you s- split up. Mm. My shit is fucking full. Mm. <laughs> So you just out having fun, huh? What do you mean? Oh. <laughs> no. I mean, I was in a relationship at the time, so I never no, really yeah. got, I never really, you know, got into all the Instagram and TikTok and stuff like that. So I didn't know what it so was. You, you just out here wilding. That song, It Goes Down to the DM, was already <laughs> out. But, you know, I didn't really, I mean, I understand DM means direct message, but I didn't understand the gravitas of, of that until, you know, I actually, you know, wasn't in a relationship and just decided to like get on her one day and it's like crack. <laughs> it literally is, you know. Can't get off that motherfucker. Yeah, it, you know. I don't even know what made her want to get on my page and be like and and see what I was looking at in the first place. Get on her high about some. Oh, your 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 Instagram was just terrible. <laughs> I'm like, what do you be? Oh, you're happy that you're single now. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Why are you even worried about all this? I ain't on your page following you. All right. You ready? Public freakouts of America, huh? And I wish you get to watch some Sierra stepping ass on, bitch. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh. oh my god. Oh. Oh. Does this, uh, does this go back to back conversation? What do you mean? Never mind. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, just said get like the jack. Hey, okay. So That's fucked up, man. Okay, this is my opinion. I'm sorry if I offend anybody or in advance or whatever, but at this point I really don't even care about this subject. That is some nasty ass shit. <laughs> that is that is some nasty Jarvis, you a nasty motherfucker, bro. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. You a nasty motherfucker. I mean I understand I understand. She said, not my Jarvis. I understand, <laughs> you know, people people cheat or whatever, this, that, and the other. But, you know what I'm saying? To be on the DL like that, you get what I'm saying? That is nasty to me. I can understand if you are a part of that life and that's what you want to do or whatever, then, you know, I don't feel that way about that. But to to... To to put it on one uh, portray that you're straight in one one scene and then on the, uh, uh, behind the camera you're uh, gay or bi or whatever that 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 is that is that is gross to me that is that is that is gross to me I could be I could understand if you're upfront I am yeah, bi this that and the other but to hide it secretly is is appalling because you don't give you don't even you know what I'm saying you don't even it's bad enough you're cheating but you don't even give the person the the one that you live your life with that, that's supposed to be in a straight heterosexual relationship a chance to even understand what's going on and then that person now you know in her instance 
she gotta live with the fact that I'm gonna keep it all the way real. The, you know, hey, hey. the dick code she, number one. The dick she been sucking, the dick she didn't had inside of her has been inside another man's asshole. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's gross to me. And she said, "Not my, not my Jarvis." Yeah, Jarvis. It, it ain't it. Ain't, it ain't Tony Stark. This dude, this dude threw it out there. Not my Jarvis. Gone with your shit, girl. Gone, bitch. Drive me a river like Justin Timberlake. Plus, you know, gay, the gay dudes, especially the black gay dudes, they are all, they are always over the top. They don't tell them what's loud to come out of their mouth. You get into an argument with them. Oh, she's still with. Oh. oh. <laughs> What the hell? Go! Go! Oh, that can't be it. Oh! Oh, look, the, sma the front all smashed in and shit. What do you think? You're gonna knock over the concrete block? <laughs> in a Corolla? I mean, a Cavalier? Oh, look at Pontiac. I should have, yeah. He done busted the radio. That shit was steaming. This is what happens when you realize you're going to jail. Mmm. Yeah, she's going to jail for assault on a concrete <laughs> pole. <laughs> oh! 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 They might throw a shoot, man. Oh, they done busted the back out? She did. She's running to this pole. Oh, oh, Look at the... <laughs> Look at the pole. Up, he just got out the car like, what in the actual fuck going on <laughs> She just found, her, found out her man been sleeping oh. with another man. Don't do it. Your breast stink. Hey, this girl about to fuck her up. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> she done took his shit off. What are they even arguing over? Oh, she's trying to pay for her shit? What the hell even going on? Like the manager walking up. What the fuck going on here? They just not going to pay for their shit. She's just going to stand there. It's not that serious. Oh, you know. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, look at your homeboy holding yeah. her back. Nah, I don't even. It, it, it's about to get real. Is this a current situation? Is that what's going on? Oh, here? no. Probably. Bruh. What the hell, man? Look at the manager, though. He, look, he laughing. What the fuck going on? <laughs> Why, though, was my thing, though. It's no... Why are you talking about pulling up now? <laughs> You know tell me, you tell know me, he didn't just say that. What? He said, "Did he say somebody catch me outside? Are we gonna take this outside?" 
I heard her say something to the nation of pull up outside. You know, when the words pull up come out, that's a real, that's about to be on for real. Is this our man? Is this the Karen's man? That dude just standing here? He like, nah, I don't know see it. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck going on. I was taking a piss. Here we go. Girl, here we go. Here we go. Classification is being tossed around now. Look, everybody stay uh, around. I mean, that's, a, that's how it be, too. <laughs> Hold on, dude. You don't got to tell me shit. We move on. You don't got nothing to do with it. Don't, don't. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my See, now, dude, they came in and offered this two cents, and now it's about to get real for real. <laughs> he said, fuck you. Ain't no <laughs> No, he said you and your mammy. Many, many months. <laughs> no, he thought I was somebody else, so I asked him what my name was. Yeah. Right. And then we had a big right. problem last time. Right. 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 And then I still bought right. what I needed, right. and I still left that place. Right, just right, all of that. But right now, you're going to get kicked out and not come back on our premises. That's fine. Please tell me what's going on. Is this doing work here? He's never kicked me out. Always video camera me. Last time I heard, she came in with another gentleman Man. that was doing the same thing. I never she came would not stop video camera me, and she's yeah. taking pictures. <laughs> like, not like this. Video camera me. <laughs> 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 You're not videotaping. He's video cameraing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was taking a picture of my brother after the You were taking a picture of me, right? She probably was taking a picture of him. But if you're gonna be a company her, you cannot shot her either, buddy. You mm. never kicked me out but before. Now you are being officially you out confused me with someone else, right. and I asked you what my name was. He all right. And he said right. The right. came now last time and told you the same right. thing because you, you went and double checked. So no, you have never kicked me out. You don't even know what my name is to know if you kicked me out. Like I said, I was kicked out before that was the first. He never issue. kicked me out. But when I walked up, you had the phone like you were recording. So at this I point, I was recording him. Yes, well, obviously because he's remember. going okay, crazy on me. I mean, at this point, last I time I was shopping, okay, are you going to let me speak? Ran out me. At this point, I walked up and you were recording, so I'm going to ask you to leave at this point. Okay, so you can't record it's me. Well, you get barred out of Walmart, it's you're fucked. That ain't no shit. That ain't no shit. Ain't no other stores around, for real, no more. Target's gone, basically. Take a picture. Would you like me to call law enforcement? Sirs, JCPenney. Bruh. You can get that out of Target. I mean, out of Walmart, you're pretty much fucked. You escort yourself out of the building. I know. Fine, you're on camera, too. So I'll be reporting this to Walmart. That's okay. Great. That's fine. Ma'am, be respectful and stop recording me. I'm not, actually. Have a good you, day. I can stop. record you. That's, that's against the law. But I no, won't, and if you touch right. my phone, you'll I'm not have some problems. Phone. Fine, you're already on it. Yeah, fuck it. Why, why you good? Yeah, yeah, you already been all over this motherfucker. I, I, yeah, ma'am, it's California. I have to say that I have the right. You actually don't. Is that for real? Do it. Is that for real? Like, ma'am, it's California. Well, I have to say that I have the right it depends you on you can't rec- you can't do anything. Right to you can't record and can on, on you can't record people. That's really illegal. I, I mean, honestly, I don't think so. I think it is illegal, especially in the voyeur, voyeurism aspect of it, because you know you get a lot, of, especially males trying to fem, fem, um, females at the store, because you know generally a place like Walmart, especially the Walmart grocery store. Or the food section of the Walmart. A lot of people run into the store to get something. They're just coming out. You know, females nowadays, they got on their um, yoga pants. Right. Love those things. Uh, um, and so they're trying to get shots for views or whatever. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's voyeurism. That's, that's illegal. Um, that's not like this? I mean, I don't. I really don't know if something like this should either. be... Is illegal. I don't really think that it should be. I don't think. I mean, what? I mean, she. Why would you? If you, if you, if you, uh, 
the front manager of this store. Why would it matter? If you ain't doing nothing, who gives a fuck? I mean, there the all the cameras yeah, I mean, around the whole store on. is filming you the whole entire time from the time you walk walk through the parking lot to get in the store to the time you leave the parking lot, you're being filmed at all different uh, at at yeah. all times. You know. Um uh, um if I was that'd be like saying, Okay, Say me and you in in Walmart, and we're doing a video for the channel or mm -hmm. whatever, and you know I'm recording you. Is it does it does it become illegal because I catch some people in the background walking past, or walking they walking they're walking towards me in the aisle, you know? I mean I get that I would probably want to blur out their faces just because you know. I don't want to be seen be seen to be making money off of somebody else's likeness. Or something like that, but I don't I don't know if that should be a a a crime per se. You know what I'm saying? This That's person awesome. is, this person is having a having a an altercation with the customer, or the customer is having an altercation with the employee, and um, the camera don't lie. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that that, that it should be illegal for you to 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 film film in a situation like that. It, I mean, it might be, but I don't think it should be. That's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's a trend now. You, it's a trend. Don't. No. My, bad. You have to. my bad, my bad. I noticed over the last uh, um, um, month, month, couple of months that there's been a trend again booming where uh, uh, people, uh, oh, People are putting cameras in um, uh, workout spots, places like Planet Fitness mm. and stuff like that. Putting cameras in in the females' uh, uh, either showers or uh, changing rooms or locker rooms or whatever, whatever it is, whatever it is they have in there. And yeah, you know, that's fucked up though. It, it, it's 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 crazy. It's crazy, uh, ladies, gentlemen, should be. Be on, be on, be aware of that because, like, for whatever reason, there's a, there seem to be a little bit of a, at least there is an uptick in reporting of stories related to people placing uh, hidden cameras in in locker rooms and stuff like that in in just uh, public workout places. That's fucked up. Yeah. You ready? Mm-hmm. To have a reason, ma'am, and that's why I'm I do not you in your name, Elizabeth. Ma'am, I do not have to have that's a reason. That's perfectly fine. I, I, I will be recording you. Do not record because me because you have no reason to kick me out. Taking a picture. We have the right to refuse Inside service Walmart to anybody. Is perfectly legal. So, ma'am, she she's, she's right. She, she does. That's I've true. Asked you leave this five and times. Ma'am, I've asked corporate. you to leave five times. That's perfectly fine. Ma'am, I've asked and you to leave five times. get out of my face too. Please escort the building. I don't think that's true. Escort the building. I don't think she asked her to get out of her. Escort the building. Escort the building. They think that they could do so. I can't wait for Tom to She said escort the building. <laughs> I was going to say the same thing, yeah. Not exit the building, but escort the building. <laughs> Where are you taking the building to? <laughs> this girl just stole this stuff, threw it at me. This is number one? Leave the store at those. You kick me you out before know? I can even leave your fucking store at those. We got you on mall camera. You want me on the camera right now, dude? We got you on the you camera. You want me to walk out the store and put this You don't take hundred dollar bills? That's bullshit. <laughs> Sorry, Is that all you got? You can go to jail for that. Is that all you got? Yeah, because you should have a pen to mark the fucking money. Yeah, well, well guess what? You now you're trying to lie to me. No, I'm lying to you. Where are you going? I'm going home. Where are you going? I'm following you wherever you, you go. Why you why you like why you follow her out of the store though? Right. I mean I get it, but What's this? it sounds like this dude's an employee. We have you on yeah, that's the thing about that too, man. Look, you just uh, that I mean this situation in a lot of instances go way worse than that. And I'm sorry, it's not worth your You an employee your your ten dollars an hour or whatever. Oh. To be out there, that store, and that's not a knock, literally. Why fucking jeopardize your shit for? 
you know, to chase this person down Who give and a you fuck? make ten dollars an hour. Yeah. It's not like the store is gonna give you a bonus for catching a shoplifter or some shit like that. They're not gonna yeah. They, that's all that's all they're gonna say is yeah. good job. Other than that, you you still out they don't give still a fuck. Like, like, they don't give a single fuck. You know what I'm saying? Uh, dude, okay. <laughs> so my wife used to work at AutoZone in back home in Louisville. Mm-hmm. And um um she's telling me a story about how uh I'm listening. Guy had went in and stole some things. Yeah. And this dude went and ran. He he ran out of the store and down the block. And you know, my wife is like five five. You know, what I'm saying a hundred and thirty pound is something. You know, somewhere around in there, soaking wet. So her ass is chasing this dude down. You know what I'm saying? Talking about some. Give me back my merchandise. <laughs> I'm like, you know, why? Fuck that merchandise. You know what I'm saying? It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. You know what I'm saying? But you don't play with Miss Long. She get it back? Yeah. 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 She got it back. Give my shit back. Yeah. Give my merchandise back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And by herself, too. Because none of the male employees in that motherfucker did a thing. Did a damn thing. I fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. Crazy. That's why I you won't catch me fucking like that. You just walked out of the store. I already store. have walked in. He's like, you are not going to leave. We have you in the hallway. You're not what you're talking about. You fucking bitch, man. Quit calling me. Like, seriously, you're going to leave and go? Like, anything? So why would you call a female? And you're going to jail. Can you leave we me alone? Please, thank we you. Check the camera. To a certain point, I do feel like 